Man. I've never been to Brazil. I actually never have uh, ever been to uh, anywhere in South America before. It's one part of the world I am not overly familiar with, and I have never visited, and I don't understand. Nice. Thanks very much, Copio. Thanks thanks for the compliment on my sweater. Uh, it's probably the same one I was wearing yesterday. Good morning. What's up? Sorry I'm a little bit late arriving. Also, I'm not here for that long. I have to leave early today because uh, there's a school thing. Uh, my son's got a school thing that we have to go to. Uh, but I thought, you know what, we'd get a couple hours of this in, right? We were playing it yesterday, and it was pretty cool. And, uh, let's, uh, let's go back to Reynoldsvania and figure this one out. Figure it out and try to, try to get a little bit more set up. Uh, I still go to school. Yeah. I need to. I'm, I'm dumb. I have to learn. I have to learn stuff. You know? All the things. I have to learn everything. All right, well, we had um, we had the, the Team Lumberjack over here. We built a house for them that they can live in, and uh, we also built a table, but no chairs. Uh, we have not built uh, chairs for these people to sit in to enjoy their new table that they can eat breakfast at and stuff. Um, they are producing wood and stuff, and we were just getting the farmers uh, set up over here as well, if you remember. Two times speed? we go a little bit faster, maybe. We're growing... Potatoes, and we are also growing wheat. Wheat and potatoes, uh, which is good. We do have a silo. It has a capacity for 100 kilograms of stuff. 100 kilograms of stuff will fit into this silo. Uh, and I think we need to go to our uh, accounting reports. No, our warehouse book. For peasants, uh, what do the what do the Banes want? They want to buy some clothes. They need a couple of planks. They are looking to buy three planks and eighty-seven straw. Okay, let's grant them the eighty-seven straw. Okay, the three planks they're gonna have to buy it from the lumberjack people. Okay, it's out of my hands now. These guys have some planks. Restrict content to auto. Okay, let me see this family here. What are they doing? Uh, open villagers book. This is the Bretuis. The Br Brativ The Bretuis. The Bretuis. Uh, the Bretuis. The Bretuis currently have um, one plank available, a free resource, uh, and we have not taxed them on planks. What uh, what's going on with this thing? The sawhorse. They can't. Uh, they're not using the sawhorse, or the sawhorse needs to be uh, in here instead. Somebody was saying in this zone. How do I turn on zones? I need to be able to see the zones. Rooftop visibility, blueprint visibility, soil zone visibility. All right, here we go. Okay, so the royal forest. The royal forest store production allow building. We want to build uh, a furniture, a production. An execution, to, no, but we better not, right? We want to get a cooling casket, a stretching frame, a hideout, a forest feeder. Attracts wild animals to an area. No, okay, we don't want to do that. A mine shaft, a loom, a sawhorse. Holds wood to be cut into planks. So we want to put a sawhorse out here in the forest <coughs> to be used? That I don't know about. We'll have to see. Uh, this is currently, the Royal Forest is currently used by these guys. I don't know if they'll use this out here. I'd expect them to use it on their own land. They do not seem to be using it on their own land. Hey, good job here. Holy shit. Okay, we need to build a thatched roof for these guys. Uh, which means that they are going to want um, some more straw. They're going to need to buy 66, which we'll grant to them. Perfect. Uh, and then they can have a, a roof with a shelter. We're, we're just going for thatched thatched hut. Oh, they're actually doing it. Look at it. It's happening. Nice. So they're using it in this workplace, but not, uh, not on the land here. So does that mean we want to put the storage in the royal forest as well? The dev said yesterday they can't make wood into planks without a tool or something? Well, they seem to be doing it now. He just made something. It contains no resources. Uh, maybe he does. Maybe they need a planer. A planer? 
is this RimWorld Redux? Uh, it's it's similar, but it, it it there's some similarities. It looks like it looks like you can eventually create um, your own Stardew Valley village, though, which is kind You're of exciting. Right, Counting reports show inventory. We can't see it from here. Counting reports. They consumed 112 normal meals, 28 planks, and 182 straw. They produced 305 wood and 377 wood raw wood rods. We taxed 37 wood rods and 30 wood from them. So this is how we're this is how we're storing resources now through taxation. We're doing some taxation. Uh, warehouse book against the Bretuis. They currently are looking to buy 17 planks. I'm surprised that they don't just make their own planks, right? We're going to get them to produce planks and hopefully uh, get their own. There's, they got a storefront here that they can sell planks to the, the other families with, I think. But it's just trying to figure out how all this stuff works and then uh, having like a good system for it, right? Hey, Topper G, thanks so much for the 200 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. No taxation without constipation? You think we need a little bit of constipation? A little bit of constipation in my life. Oh, look, they fing they, they've done the, uh, they've done the road down here. We've got the, the fisher, the fisher folk here as well, right? The fisher folk. When is this, this going to be ready to be harvested, I wonder? Farming soil, percentage grown, good soil, the fast grow speed. You can't see that because I'm over the uh, the thing. Hang on a second. Let me just move up a little here so you can actually see this info. How's that? Can you see the info now? It uh, Percentage grown is 30%. This is 10%. Okay, so it needs some time. I guess all this uh, this rain is gonna help too, right? It'll it'll help. There's a spruce here, a hundred percent grown. We could be cutting that down, but we don't need to. All right. So what's what's this guy doing actually? Foraging, assigned zones to making a plank. Okay, so they are making planks. You just made three planks. This is a trash pile of 40 wood that belongs to the Bertuis. Oh, okay, look. They're using the planks that they're making to do this now. They've made a chair. What's she up to? Relaxing. A relaxing teenager. We need some lights and stuff, huh? Okay, cool. Uh, they're doing stuff. They're actually doing things. They're out there foraging. They're cutting down wood. They're making planks that they need. Perfect. These guys are almost done their thatched roof. There's it looks like there's a corpse of a bear here. Not great. Not great. Okay, we're going to need some straw beds for these guys. There's four people that live uh, in this uh, in this household. 1 2 3 and 4. We're just going to have them living kind of like uh, heathens for now, you know. It's just, it's just got to be the way it's got to be. Okay, let's get this table here. This is a wooden table that can be built by anyone. And then we want a wooden chair that can be built uh, by anyone as well, right? Okay, and then they've got their wooden door too. So they hopefully, with a little bit of money, hopefully they can come up here and buy some of the stuff from these guys, right? These guys should be able to uh, to sell some planks when they're not using them. I guess it takes a little while for them to make them. They should like skill up as they're doing more stuff too, right? Is there a minigun in this game though? No, I don't I don't think there is actually a minigun. Storage. Um ground storage, ground depository, a knackery, meat hooks. Anyone can build. Does not deteriorate. Can be walked over. No insulation. Capacity for 300 kilograms of stuff. Okay, let's build this out a little bit more. Caravans. Storage for traveling caravans. One storage per storefront for each caravan is, caravan is sufficient. 
So this is uh, this one actually requires a, a carpenter. Does not deteriorate. No insulation. Can be walked over, but can store 400 kilograms of stuff. It can store just about everything. This uh, can uh, store meat on meat hooks. This stores animal corpses, the knackery. Okay. There's some barrel rails here as well for beer, mead, and wine. This bookcase can store manuscripts. A cabinet can store clothing and tools and other stuff. Drawers, same. Shelves. Food can store food, it looks like. Small shelves can store a lot of food. And then a chest can store jewelry and all sorts of crap like that. Okay, good. All right. Well, look, they've got a they've got shelter to sleep in now. They just need some some stuff. I want these two to like trade with each other, but I don't think they will. Or maybe they will. Uh, let's go to accounting reports for Reynolds for the Bertois. Um, they produce twenty one planks, and we've uh, we've gained two from them. They've consumed forty six planks, and now they've produced twenty one planks. And so we should we should have two more planks in our inventory. Do we have two planks in our inventory? We have 270 altogether. That's pretty wild. Okay, we're going to front these guys down here that are fishermen. Some straw. Uh, let me just check the zone here and see what they need. How many people? Four people. Okay, so we're going to do... Uh, let's get a little house set up for them. A little house on the prairie. One, two, yeah. These guys are having like the smallest house that you can imagine. Okay. We're also going to want some thatched roof on here. We're going to want to have uh, floors, walls. We want a wooden door here for them. We don't have any glass, so we can't really put windows yet. Yet, I say. Okay. And then it's, it's, uh, it's dirt path inside here, right? Okay. And then we can have the path connect up to the path. Wonderful. Okay, this is great. Ain't this just something? Ain't this just something? Okay, uh, we're gonna have to front them the the straw because they don't have any right now, right? So, Calmet, we got to go to open the warehouse book. Uh, they want three planks and they also want a hundred and five straw. So let's grant them the straw that they need. And you know what? Let's give them the planks as well. Okay, off they go. They're going to town to get the stuff that they need to get to get moving. Look, they're going to start clearing. They, they, we need these guys to all have shelter. These guys are done. Uh, we can remove the roof visibility. Rooftop visibility. We can change it so that we can see that. Yeah, perfect. Now we can actually see inside. Take away the zone visibility. So I'm hoping that they'll sell planks. But... Um, We gave three, right? So we should be taxing. Like uh, every every day, we should get taxable stuff, right? Depending on what their output is. Is the WoW obsession over? No, no. I was just playing last night. Um, Ravs and Rithian have started playing as well. So I was chatting to them about it. Um, Ravs still on the fence a little bit. I think Rithian is still on the fence a little bit too, actually. He's not, not fully sold on the whole thing. Uh, this zone is a uh, warehouse the Reynolds warehouse. Okay. So that's me. Who's this? She's a servant, a laborer. Okay, let me see uh, now. Hang on. So if I go to zones and I go here and I see show family of owner, it's me. Where are my laborers and what can they do? Okay, so this guy is building, cooking, wood cutting, building, cooking, wood cutting, building, cooking, wood cutting. Okay, so we have a a hunter and two farmers. Huh. Day guard, night guard, prisoners, stable hands, cooks, high council, Lord Bert. Who's going to be the master of law? You can look, have a bishop, a minister, a marshal, a master of coin. Oh, man. We got to get, like, we got to pass get past this, like, the early stuff, right? So that we can get into, like, the real... The real meat and potatoes of the whole thing. <laughs> we can make a like a mint and everything. We can put our face on coins. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be really good. 
It'll be really nice. Okay. I don't know if they're using the storefront for anything. I think we got to maybe enable them to sell their stuff, right? Open warehouse book. Resources they own. So, for planks. The Brutois. If we go to trade. Um, we're going to say, please trade planks. And sell them. Amount to keep. Zero. Currently selling 267. This is me. This is my stuff. I don't want to sell 267. Well, maybe I do, actually. Okay. Until limit. All. Until taxed. Sell all except the amount taxed by royals. Set. Sell a set amount. Okay. Let's just sell everything for now. So we want to sell these planks. Um, what else do we want to sell? Straw. Yeah. Planks and straw for now, yeah? To locals? Not to caravans. Let's just sell to locals for now. Okay. So they should be able to buy stuff, right? Now? So if I go to my accounting reports for Reynolds, no resources have, have been accounted this season. That's not right. The Bertoys? We've taxed three planks. So did we get those three back? No. We still haven't had the three back yet. Finances, plank, straw, wood, money spent, money made, and made and spent. Change during yesterday. They made 12 silver and three copper. They made 12 silver, three copper, but I'm not sure how, they, how they've done it. How did they make money? Finances? Finances? It doesn't say what they sold. Or who to. Overview. Manor, fishing, farmland, 10%. That's fine. Products? Lord Burt Reynolds. No resources have been accounted this season for the Bretoy. Okay, let's see. Maybe we just need like another day of it. Do they have money? Yes. Yes, I'm I'm sure that they the Bertuis do have some money. If I look at their finances, they have no outstanding construction costs, but their uh their wealth they currently at the end of yesterday, they had 7 gold, 35 silver and 52 copper. So I don't know what the deal is. We need them to buy some of our goods. We also need to them to pay their taxes. When do they pay their taxes? We need a tax collector, I guess, right? Royal taxes? I have no goals for you yet. So royal taxes is me. I got to pay the king. I'm not the king. I'm just the, I'm just a lord. This is my my little power silo, right? But I still have to I still got to push up to the king. What's she doing? Handling the storefront. Oh, did she just buy something? collecting things profession farming what does she have show more she just bought something from uh from these guys and what what could it she probably bought some planks right i feel like maybe she bought some planks okay let me look at the accounting then let's get the warehouse book no we want to look at the accounting reports for the bertuis finances Changed during yesterday, the end of yesterday, money spent, products, planks, four to tax, six, they produced 42 and consumed 52. They can sell wood rods as well, I, th I suppose, right? Oh, wait, are they, so are they selling planks directly to people or am I selling them? 267. Yeah, no, I've got 251 now, so... Does that mean that we've made some money? So if I look at my... No. No. Reynolds? 
I don't know where to find this information, but it looks like they're actually consuming stuff. Because look, they've got all the planks that they need to get set up here. These guys have finished their stuff. There's 24 straw here in a trash pile, which is no good. Okay, we need some furniture for these guys too. So let's get some straw beds. They need four. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, and then a nice wooden table right in the middle here. You know what? Maybe these guys eat outside. <coughs> maybe they maybe they eat outside and they can clean their fish and stuff outside too. They're eating outside. I've made the decision for them to eat outside. Okay, they need to be able to do some fishing as well. So what kind of stuff do they need for this? Um, fishing. A glass furnace? A spinning wheel. What's this? Supports, oh, grapes and hops. A windmill? A fishing rod. Four, four wood rods and a yarn. Okay, let's get two of these things set up. Um, also, zone visibility. It's these. Okay, so they should be able to build this stuff. So we need to make it so that they're selling wood rods as well up here. Um, right. So, warehouse book, trade. And oh, no, this is me, right? I don't need to do it on them. So, wood rods. Wood rods. We're selling wood rods. Are we selling firewood as well? I suppose we are, right? Food, material, potions, commodity. There's a commodity. Mushrooms, hides, bronze statues, and art. No. This is equipment, drink. It's not food, but we will need to sell some food, right? Basic repair kit, kit brick, gems, sand. Where the heck is the firewood? Or is firewood just, like, free? You get firewood no matter what. Or maybe they just buy it from the uh, the firewood family. Stone, sand, limestone, gem, ore, clay, gem, limestone, stone, wax, plank, advanced repair kits, glass. These are all ingots. Ingos. No. Am I going to build a chub empire? I might, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Flower. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know where the uh I don't know where the firewood is. Purchase. Bane not selling. They need to access a storefront during the market opening hours. So I can purchase stuff directly from them. They want some meat. They want to be able to buy meat. Okay, we got 75 in stock. So let's start selling some meat. I have 36 gold. Okay, let's see if this helps then. Well, it looks like they've gone to town here. No, they haven't gone to town. They're just waking up. But then they should be able to uh, to get some fish going, right? And then my big manor here is not uh, is not even built yet. I've decided to to see to all of my peasants first. I'm helping my peasants first. Well, they cook. I guess they cook their own meals, right? I don't need to provide them with uh, with full meals. I need a cook in my manor though to cook meals for me. What a kind king! I'm not a king. I'm just a lord. I'm just simply a lord, not quite, not quite a king yet. I'm just a lord. I'm not quite a king just yet, but I'm gonna set up a royal mine, and I'm gonna send my peasants down that mine. King of Jersey, when? 
Well, soon. We need a huge harvest is what we need. We need a harvest for the world. Harvest for the world. <laughs> harvest for the world. <laughs> harvest for the fishing rod. Who, uh, how come nobody is building this stuff? Are these guys out of money? The Calmet household accounting reports for the Calmets. No, they got two gold and 44 silver and 51 copper. So they should have enough to buy the planks and the other crap that they need. They haven't bought their furniture just yet. And they have not made their fishing rods just yet either. We'll get there eventually, I suppose. We do have the storefront. Uh, maybe it's maybe the market isn't open. Is it? Uh, is it like uh, market hours or not market hours? I suppose we'll see. These guys are all working. I have planks. I got wood rods. Ninety-six firewood. What does the firewood even look like? Wood, wood rods, brick, plank. Oh, this is what firewood looks like. It looks like a pyramid of a pyramid of wood. This guy's just been to town? He follows the path. Where is he going now? I love that these guys just have no nothing to do. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's Lord Burt Reynolds. Lord Burt Reynolds. I don't know why they're not buying the stuff that they need. Could have had... We could have had some fishing rods built, but... Open warehouse book. So this is the Calmets. So they want five wood rods. 26 wooden planks. And they want two yarn. Oh, I, th I guess we got to sell yarn as well. I haven't uh, opened up the, to sell yarn just yet. Warehouse book. Trade. Um, yarn. Selling yarn. Paper stack, silk, manuscript, stone statue, wood itself, stone, wax. Fish we could probably sell. We get those other guys to sell fish too once they actually start fishing. Maybe it's just because they want to start with the yarn first. But they should have bought the planks and stuff too, right? How many planks are we at? 251? I don't know why they're not buying stuff. I assigned them to this fishing spot too, right? Yep. The Calmets own this fishing pool. And this household as well. Um, what is the, Where's the household one? Household. How do you do this again? How do you, how do you mark a zone? Market price list. The price of acorns. You can sell acorns. Templates. Oh, zones. Here it is. Sorry. Sorry. Household zone. So we can extend this over to here. No. Excuse me. Edit zone. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we'll have that connect onto there. Public area. Is it because um, public area for shared structures and public gatherings? Warehouse. The central warehouse is store the goods and materials you own. You always need at least one. Minimum recommended size is twelve by twelve. Required professions none. So this is so the, this warehouse zone is my warehouse. Nobody else's, right? Edit zone, create template, show inventory, open warehouse book, family market presence. The ruling family does not participate in the market. Tax what you need or sell it using the warehouse management book. Okay. So at the local market, I'm selling all. Not at a discount. Selling for the market price. Giveaway for free. 
I don't want to sell to caravans just yet. I just want to sell locally. Oh, look. Oh, so they come here to buy meals. This person has come here to buy something. My my warehouse staff is helping them. What did they buy? Meat. 30 meat. We're going to run out of meat. We're almost out of meat. What are they going to do with all that meat? We have no way of producing more meat. Look what they're doing. They're just offloading the meat into this house. I guess they use the meat to just cook. Uh, oh, look, they bought some. Um, they bought some of the stuff they need. They bought planks and straw. They bought the yarn and everything, too. Holy crap. This is going to be a huge expenditure for these guys. They're fishing. Come on. They're doing it. One fish. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. That's great. Okay, production, fishing rod, grinding stone, hideout, a flailing spot. Flailing the crops on the ground separates and filters the grains from the plants. Oh, look, we can trap fish with a fishing net. Effective when, f when fishing, but requires time. Anyone can build this. It needs eight yarn. Beer from the wart, farming soil, builder's desk, butcher's table. This is to prepare meat. Bloomery? What's a bloomery do? Valuable material from ores. There's an anvil. Okay, so we can get, like, all this stuff. Stretch processed leather. Scraping log. This scrapes leather from fur. So we're going to want to do all this stuff, too. There's an oven here. Sturdy structure for baking. So we can have, like, a, a, a bakery, um, some bakery people, too. Oh, man. This is insane. What's the rope walk do? Turns yarn into a strong rope. Oh, man. There's a paper dryer. This is for the clergy. Apothecary table. And nobles can have a theater stage, a sculpting station, coin-making workshop, an art station. Oh, man. And then essentials. Cooking table, council chair, ex execution display. There's a bar, memorial grave. There's an outdoor feeder. We can make a well. We can plant trees. Wooden blocks. None of this is for fish stuff either, right? So I think we have everything that we need for fish. Production, peasants. There's nothing else we need for fish, right? There's no, like, uh, it's just the, uh, the net to catch even more fish. But there's no, like, place to, like, salt them up or, like, hang them or anything like that. Maybe storage? Now you want a well. Me too. Small shelves. So we can store on a small shelf, on a big shelf. In drawers? No. Cabinet? Rusty bookcase. Barrel rail, small barrel, barrel. Okay, a barrel can hold fish. Okay, let's build a barrel for fish. It can store... Barrels are useful to store ingredients like fish, fruits, and vegetables. Weapon rack, silo, ground depository, meat hooks. Meat hooks for meat. Okay. How many fish? Tax payment day. Villagers will pay you taxes according to their zone fealty at the end of each season. They will always do their best to pay as much as they are supposed to. Then they collect the gold they are entitled to from the stewardry zones. Huh? If you reassign a zone to a different family, the tax debt will be transferred as well. Removing zone from a storage area will take away resources from the family but will not decrease their debt. Royalty requests taxes every autumn and you will be you'll have one year to build up a stock to pay them. If you fail, your relationship will de decrease and you might even lose the land. Oh shit. Okay, so we got to pay our taxes too. All right. Your villagers will cook food if you build cooking tables, wells, cauldrons, wood blocks to make firewood, and secure a variety of ingredients. Okay, so everybody needs a wood block. At least, right? It's an essential, a wooden block. All right, so let's get a wooden block built for these guys. And then let's get a wooden block built out here for these guys too. And then we also want them to have a storefront. Small store 
for villagers to sell their goods. Okay, let's get one set up here. It's tax payment day. And then let's also get one set up here for these guys. Easy access to underground water. Four stone required. How much stone do we currently have? We have 31 stone. We have 31 stone. We might need to start doing some mining. I might have to get my own laborers to do that, right? I don't want a family doing the mining for now because what if they find some of that precious G-O-L-D down there and then they they want to melt it down and make their own coins? We can't be having that, right? There's no way. It's summertime, yeah. Sun's out. Get your guns out. That's right, that's right. Let me turn these zones off. How much fishing did these guys do out of interest? Villagers book the Calmets. I want to look at your accounting reports. It looks like for the summer, in spring, they produced 20 fish. And they paid me two. These guys need to up their game big time. Because I've got two fish on my books now after the tax payment day. Time for your villagers to pay what they owe you on taxes. Alright, we got some more planks. They will transfer what they can into your warehouse in the following moments. Nice. Okay, so we want to really get some more fish going. Some straw. Is this stuff... Uh, are they harvesting? It looks like they're harvesting. There's nothing in the silo right now. They got some firewood? Oh, no. He's just taken some wood so that they can make their own firewood. Okay, so you don't sell firewood. They just do it themselves, right? There's a trash pile here with three meat, 201 potatoes, 55 wheats, four clay, two stone, one wood, one gold, 82 silver, and 95 copper. This one also has eight meat, 134 potatoes, 33 wheats, 89 silver, and 64 copper. So we need these guys to start using this silo, right? They haven't used this to store any resources, nothing. Training dummy, peasants, flailing spot, loom. No, it's storage, right? Silo can creep. So this can keep, oh, that they're not using it because it's for corn, grain, rice grain, and hops, right? So we actually need uh, to do, is it a flailing spot? Barley, oat, rice, rye, wheat. For two strong, two grain. So we need to make these guys a flailing spot, right? Let's make the flailing spot right here for them. A blunt, a blunt blade. A blunt blade. Blunt blade. One blunt blade. And we need to do some hunting and shit too, right? Sand and clay. We, we could probably do with getting some clay and stuff too, right? If we make a flailing spot, though, at least they can separate out the wheat. We can get straw and, and grains, right? And then we can use those grains for something and, and tax them as well, more importantly. They're hiding their wealth in trash piles. I know. Look at these guys. They're putting wood and clay. These guys have 17 fish, 13 meat, 50 potatoes, 20 firewood, and all of their... Everything that they need... Okay, we got to get these guys some furniture, right? This is... The reason this is happening is because, look, they, they could be... We could put them some small shelves and they can store all of their stupid-ass food and everything in here, right? Shelves, they can store meat. So this is for all of their food. Drawers, where can they store their money? In a cabinet? In a chest. Gold rod? Money? Okay, so if we build them a chest, it just needs four planks. If we build them a chest, they can store all their money in there, right? And it'll be safe. <laughs> it'll be safe. Uh, what else can they store in there, though? Ground storage, barrel, silo. So this is for grain, rice grain, corn, and hops. A bookcase for manuscripts. Tools in a cabinet. The drawers don't store money, though, right? None of this stuff does. 
And so they need a, a, a barrel for fish. Oh, this can store potatoes and stuff too, right? Okay, so we'll give let's give them a small barrel to store all their crap in, and then a chest as well to store more crap in, okay? So that they're not using these trash piles. And then I suppose we could probably make like a like a place for them to store their firewood and shit too. Sorry, it's a, it's a, there's a lot to figure out in this game. We're kind of getting there though, a little bit, I think. I feel like uh, zones, zone visibility. Okay, so they need to. These guys need to acquire some planks, and then I gotta get my manor set up as well because all of my dudes are just laying around here. I do have planks and wood, but I don't have any carpenters just yet. So the manor is probably gonna start off being like a thatch a thatch deal, you know? Return of the thatch. Once again, return of the thatch. Here we go. Okay. Trading? What else do we need to trade? Fish. We can sell fish on the market. We have a couple to sell. Uh, we can sell potatoes on the market as well. We have a couple to sell. What else can we sell? Good meals and normal meals? We have tons of them. Maybe let's not sell them just yet, though. Yarn, paper stacks, silk, manuscripts, stone statues. We don't need to sell any of this stuff right now. Um, we can't sell firewood, even though I have a ton of it. Firewood is free in this day and age. Back in the day... It was just free. We don't have any animals either. It'd be good to get some animals eventually, right? Maybe get some 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 tanning going. Do do some hunting. Wax, potatoes. We'll be able to sell like grains and stuff soon too, right? These farmers can start getting some big, huge yields. Let's see if these guys actually build this stuff, and then if they do and use it, then we know what to do, right? Clay and wood. So money, firewood, two planks, 50 potatoes. Oh, yeah, they're moving some stuff in. They moved all of their wealth into the chest. Nice. Hopefully they move some of their food and stuff in here, too. Yeah, they have. Look. They moved a fish and 50 potatoes in there and all of their wealth. 23 fish and 50 potatoes in there. I guess they're not going to build this barrel. This can be used to store even more fish. Ready to be taxed. Two clay, one wood. So we're going to want to give these guys like an outdoor dumping thing as well, right? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Hang on a second. All right. What was I making? Storage. Oh, yeah. We want just a ground depository, right? So ground depository is what they can uh, store all their other crap on. Any, like, wood and firewood and stuff that they might have to clear this stuff out of the way. All right. And then these guys are going to want the same. So what's being stored in here now? Nothing. The flailing spot is empty as well. Now... Is it because the household, is it because this needs to be part of the farmland? So let me click on this farmland, uh, edit this zone, and actually make it go like to here and to here. Yeah, okay, I think that's why. So this is just their household. You have to put it on like where they work and they'll do it. This is like their work area, right? So they're flailing wheat. And then they'll store the stuff into the silo. All right. I feel like we're making some progress here. We're figuring some stuff out, right? So they put it in there. So there's two grain. And then they have straw as well. Okay, so straw needs to be placed. Is it just a, a repository? Yeah. So a ground repository for straw. OK, 
okay, let's build that there so that they can just store some of their stuff. And then we need some furniture for them to be able to store their uh, their wealth and uh, their food and stuff too, right? All right. So let's get a... How come you can build this like here? It doesn't make sense, right? Let's get that there. And then a small barrel so that they can store all of their food and stuff too. We'll put it here. Okay, good. And these guys need the same. So, so far, everybody is sleeping uh, in, indoors. Except for my, uh, my guys. Because I haven't set up any of my own stuff yet. We can set up a chest, like, at the end of this bed. No. How do we cancel this? Okay. <laughs> so, it was, it was threatening to get rid of the, uh, the bed. Okay. Chest. And then, let's get a small barrel in here, too. Okay, and then these guys already have their outdoor spot, right? What do they have in here? Three stone, 67 clay. Man, they've got so much clay, it's insane, right? It's because they have access to the royal forest. Clay and wood, meat and firewood. Okay, so once this thing is done, they'll store some of this stuff in here instead, right? Can you build cool tombs when the family members die? I think. I don't know. I mean, possibly. We'll see. We're working on it. Grains are empty. Are people going to buy grains? It's going to collect the money. Give me the money. What has he done with all their money? He spent all their money on magical beans. Some magical beans. Zones. Okay. We want to set up a inn, tavern, marketplace, household, caravan, marketplace, a villa. A villa is an extravagant household for noble family. Cottage is a living area dedicated to all of your servants. Okay, so we can set up a cottage for the servants. Let's set up a cottage on the side here. So this is a cottage, cottage Reynolds. I'm setting up a servant quarters in here for these, for these knaves. Let's put them to work. All right, floors. Let's get some dirt paths in here, connect it up. And then let's also get some beds for them too, right? How many servants do I currently have? I'm not sure. I feel like I have maybe four, I don't know. We'll see. It's like a bunkhouse for them. Laborers, I have three. I have no cooks. I have Quant Bain and Uraka Rome and Judith K. Two farmers and a hunter. Okay. Zones. In tavern marketplace, public area for peasants. A butchery, a fishing pool, a bakery, farmland, windmill, hunting area. Designated for hunting wild animals for food. Where are the heck are all the wild animals? Probably in here, right? There's like chickens and all sorts of stuff here. Let's set up this hunting area here. And we're going to assign it to... Oh, no. You have you can't just uh, you can't just give it to um, your dudes. Oh yeah, they need a roof as well, right? I'll have to make them a thatched roof. Oh man, okay, my servants are 
really happy to be in a in a servant hunt. Does Dowie get a bed as well? Dowie, do you want to have a bed? Why are the resources like not in our storage? 60 wood, 60 wood. These guys have stockpiled just so much wood. We're gonna have a great tax season though. 12 grain in here now too. These guys are storing in their ground depository clay, 102 wheat, six stone, 12 straw, three wood rods and 30 firewood. They're also, um, they don't have anywhere to put meat. Oh, can they not put meat in the barrel? Is that why? Furniture, storage, it's storage, right? So in a small barrel, they won't put meat. So they would only put meat on a small shelf. Okay, let's get these guys set up with a meat shelf. These guys are going to need a meat shelf as well. And we also need to make sure that the fishing family here have their own meat shelf too. Uh, I don't think there's much meat left though. And uh, the reason for that is that we have, a, we have a professional hunter as a laborer. But I don't seem to be able to set up a zone for hunting for, uh, for me. Clergy nobles. A hunting area. Carpentry, forge, furnace, a builder's guild, a rope mill, a tannery, a bakery. No, 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 no essentials. Kitchen, stables, manor, villa, cottage, execution site, caravan, warehouse, royal forest. Parts of the forest where regular foraging and harvesting of wood is allowed. Required profession, foraging. Required profession, hunting. Requires a hideout, a forest feeder, a trap, a knackery, a weapon rack, drawers, cabinet, and a storefront. Villagers will ignore any blueprints covered by this zone. Adjust priorities, assign a family. What the heck is socage? Okay, I don't want to give it to a whole family. And I don't know what socage means. Does anybody know? Nobody knows? All right. They're going to be able to store their meat on a shelf. And maybe other things as well. I like their their little houses are really coming along now, huh? Really starting to get there. Our laborers now have somewhere to sleep. This is good. Villager book, warehouse book. Royal taxes, request of family, market price list. No, I want to look at... Oh, hang on. Can I do it down here? Noble, clergy, and domain? Yeah, this is me, right? So laborers. So we have Judith K. Who's hunting. Bored. Lonely. Recently scolded by authority as well. This is Eureka. A hunter. Enlist to the army. Currently has a sword. Family tree. Show inventory. Rename person. Count family market presence. Show inventory. We have no nobles. Looking to sell potatoes, straw. Looking to purchase drawstring boots, leather shoes, cape, tools, clothes, and milk. So they are, they're selling 377 potatoes. God, that's a lot of potatoes. Okay, these guys, their market presence... They want to buy dogs, 
tools, capes, shoes, and boots. They're selling wood planks, wood rods, clay, and stone. And the Calmets are currently looking to sell clay and wood. They're not they're not looking to sell fish. Oh, this barrel needs a carpenter. That's why it's not being built. I see. So they are storing the fish, but they just don't want to sell the fish for some reason? That doesn't make sense, right? We're selling fish. So what are they doing with all this fish then? I, I, that That's crazy. That They don't want to sell the fish. Market presence. They're just looking to sell two clay and one wood. <clears throat> and they want to buy some tools. A family of fishermen. They're keeping it all for... It does if they don't make enough fish. All right. So they're not making enough fish. Fishing pool. Assassinate? We can assassinate um, an adult named Amalwin. Amalwin. You must have a Master of Affairs Counselor and the Intelligence Officer assigned and only one family can be targeted at a time. Holy crap. That's wild, eh? So will some of these children grow up and mingle with each other and create new families or what? They must do, right? Domain member is disgusted. Domain member is lonely. Domain member lacks comfort in the form of furniture. So we have two guards here who don't have anywhere to sleep. And then we also have... So I'm sleeping with the with the help right now, too. Uh... I don't mean it that way, though, obviously. Farming soil for potatoes. 98% grown. So we have a ton of potatoes, but we're not actually doing anything with the potatoes. These guys are looking to sell these potatoes, but I, I'm surprised that these guys aren't looking to sell these fish. And is that because this is like a personal amount of fish? You know what? It is. Okay, I, I figured it out. So we need a small barrel here that can store fish in their workplace right it needs to be in their workplace because they're currently just storing all the fish for personal use these guys must stink those are my personal fish <laughs> stay away from my personal fish Okay, everybody's going to the market to buy breakfast. Meanwhile, father and son are out here fishing up a damn storm. Let's get another fishing rod going here so that somebody else can join in. I think in a family of four, three people go out and work and catch fish all day and one person manages the home. That seems good, right? That seems pretty good. A lot of uh, a lot of straw. We have a lot of straw. We can ref re we can always request a new family as well when we're ready to like branch out a little bit. It's no problem. Okay, let's see if now we can sell some fish. Let's see if Papar will fill this barrel with fish first. Catch one. Catch one. Caught one. Okay immediately takes it to the personal supply okay we're going to this has fish and potatoes in it okay so these guys are just catching fish and putting it in the personal they're not storing it in the the supply i was uh, i was hoping that they would oh never mind Okay, so has that changed things now? If I go to Calmets and I go to Market Presence, yeah, now they're looking to sell the fish. Okay, good. They're looking to sell 16 fish. All right, so the other families should be able to make their way down here 
to buy fish. What's this guy buying? He just bought something. I don't know what it is, though. Potatoes, maybe? Did he just buy some potatoes, or did he sell some potatoes? We may never know. These guys want tools. 42 grains. So grains we can use to make uh, flour and bread and shit, right? Maybe we need, like, another one of these things. Production. Flailing spot. Let's get a couple of them set up, yeah? So that more people can flail. How much... Uh, we got 46 straw here now, too. It's pretty nice. A villain is a surf. Yeah, it is. It is one surf. A surf and turf. Surf and turf. Okay, good. All right. So it looks like, for now, wood production stuff is done. Foraging. There's a whole bunch of, like, berries and stuff up here that they could... There's a blueberry bush. So we could actually have some blueberries foraged. Maybe it's, like, a seasonal thing. I don't know. Um... In zones, if I go to peasants, forge, carpentry, furnace, brewery, rope mill, butchery, I'm looking for, how do you do mining? Workshop of the mason to process stone materials. Oh, mining field, here you go. Uses a mine shaft, a ground depository, ground storage, and a storefront. Consumes firewood and rope but can produce stone, limestone, iron ore, copper ore, silver ore, gold ore, coal, gem, and clay. But we need a mining profession, which I don't think we currently have, right? Um, this needs a bow making profession. We need a butcher. We need a hunter. We do have a hunter. Can I release um, people from my labor uh, crew? And make them into a family of their own? Request a family. Request 53 points. We have 100 favorite points. So we can request a custom family? I feel like we should just be able to make our own family, right? Um, let me see. Where is my, where's my stuff? Where's me? Villager's book. Ah, yeah, it's here, right? In, uh, in here, laborers. So Judith, no, it's sorry, it's Uraka Rome. Show inventory, counting reports, family presence, center, show inventory, rename, send to clergy. They will leave their family and join the clergy. We can enlist them to the army. This person will return to their family. Okay, Rome, we can't release. But Bain, Quant Bain, we can release. Judith K, we can't. So, Uraka Rome and Judith K, we can't release to families. What's this? Create new. Day guard, night guard, day jailers, night jailers, and soldiers. Oh, it's a regiment. I see. I want her to be able to do some hunting. She can do building, cooking, and woodcutting, but her profession is... Professions are required to perform work in zones. They can be improved by performing tasks. I want her as a as a hunting uh, uh, a person with the hunting profession to be able to uh, live in a hunting zone and do some hunting for the good of the uh, fiefdom. I remember how to make a family. Yeah, I but like it, under different context. Yes. It's a much, much different uh, context, you know? Oh, okay. They're making the new flailing spots. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Both flailing spots are ready to rock and roll. This is great. Let's get flailing. Okay. Our, far our, our farming family is hard at work here. This is good. Who's this guy? This is Quant Bain. He's my servant, and he is handling the storefront. He's waiting for people to come and buy stuff. Of course he is. Okay. 
Um, I need to put all these guys to work, but doing what? Like, I don't even know. We have some straw, but not much. We can buy straw from the, uh, from the families and stuff, too. We can start using some of this money up if we wanted to. We don't have any carpenters in our, in our labor pool. More fishing? I don't think we need to do more fishing. We've got 13 fish here, 37 fish here. That's more than enough fish. That's more than enough fish. The Kalmets have produced 121 fish so far this summer. They've consumed 20 meat, 16 planks, 3 wood, 4 wood rods, and 1 yarn. And 4 fish themselves. Of the 120-odd that, uh, that they've fished up. We currently don't store any fish. Because we're waiting for the season to end for a huge taxation, right? We can expect to get some more planks. We can expect to get some uh, wheat. We should be getting wheat. We should be getting some straw. We should be getting all sorts of crap, right? Grains, which we could do stuff with. It'd be nice to maybe start doing some hunting. It would be nice to start making some decorations and stuff, and then maybe making these houses a little bit bigger because they're kind of cramped. What about cleaning my garage? You think the answer is just always to do more fishing? Recently slept in bad conditions? Oh, this guy did, yeah. He's part of our military. I don't know if we can get uh, more... Uh, I don't know if we can make like a barracks or something. Essentials. Cottage town hall. Building a town hall is necessary to unlock your council and hold public hearings. It must have a throne, speaking table, and some chairs for the audience. Fuck yeah. That is so good. Oh, there's a barracks here. It provides housing and training grounds for the soldiers and guards. Warehouse inn, tavern, marketplace, peasants. Yeah. I want to I want to use this hunting area, but I can't get my uh I can't I can't get my my servant to do it. So I guess we're just going to have to get a new family. All right? Let's request a family then. Request for 53 points. These guys are hunting, smelting, and baking. Baking might be good. 73 points to get them in though. We can get the we can get the Courcelles. There's three hunt there's five people and three hunters. But I, but they're hunters, but they won't have any tools or anything, right? Maybe we need to get people in who can actually make tools and shit first. If we're going to make tools, we're going to need to be able to do like some smelting and mining and stuff too, right? We can request a family. You don't have enough points for a family or a family is already arriving. Profession level three across two generations. We can get nobles in as well. So what do we want? We want miners, leatherworking, mining. We can request a, fa a mining family. This will cost us 80 favor points. I guess you get more favor points back from paying your taxes to the king, which I haven't checked yet. Goals for the year 1400. No soldiers and no resources have been requested. Look at he's very uh he's very regal, huh? On Sundays and during celebrations, trade is stopped. Okay, so it's Sunday? It's six days until the public hearing day. Today is the Sunday service day. It's nine days until the tax payment day, and eleven days until the stewardry pay paydays. So there's still a little bit left in the season. It, it, it's got like a bit of a Stardew Valley vibe to it, no? It, it reminds me, it's, it's almost like you're setting up the Stardew Valley town, right? It feels like it a little bit. Anyone else um, get that? So no, there's no trading happening today. Nobody will trade on a Sunday. Sunday is just a day to relax and eat some good food. Spend time with your loved ones. 
do some threshing. Just do a little bit of gentle threshing. Good. Some plowing. A little bit of plowing, yeah. Tiny, the tiniest, gentlest bit of plowing. I don't know. Do I? Should I just request a family? You think I should just request a, a mining family and get some mining started? I guess once we get ores and stuff, and we can get a family of smelters in to handle all the smelting and shit, they'll have to buy the ores from us to smelt them in the first place? Or do you think... I wonder if... Okay, let me just check the families we have now and see if some of them have different professions. Farming, 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 and farming. Okay. Foraging, 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 and foraging. Right. Fishing, fishing, fishing. <laughs> okay. There's no multidiscipline families currently living here. They all do the same shit. Okay. So let's request a family to do hunting. We're going to request a... Okay, we don't even need to, actually. We have a family of hunters here. There's five people here, and three of them are into hunting big time. Okay, so we, we'll request these guys for 53 points. Okay, they're going to arrive in like a day. All right. Where the hell are they going to do all their hunting? Where's like a good place to, to go hunting? There's some hunting like to be done up here, it looks like. Zones? Hunting area. Designate for hunting wild animals for food. Need a hideout, a forest feeder, a trap, a knackery, a weapon rack, drawers, cabinet, storefront. Consumes nothing and produces nothing, apparently. Oh, there's villagers fighting. What happened here? Lutgard Bertui has had a fight and is maybe incapacitated? Yeah. We need a jail. I think the guards are hand feeding him right now. That's disgusting behavior, isn't it? That is just awful. Okay. Let's set up this. Oh, look. You can't set it up that big, actually. Let's set up this hunting area up here. Yes. Like here. And then we will um, hold control to remove some areas of this. The mines. Okay. This will be a hunting area. Sure. And then we'll move this new family in close to this hunting area so that they can do some hunting. It looks like there's some sleeping deer up here already. They're actually teabagging him? Don't say that. Don't say that's not nice. That is not nice. They got little lights on. Uh, where? What What are they doing Like for lights here? I don't get it. Let's put time speed on four times. It's their glowing personalities that are illuminating the night. Underground resources. Soil quality. Okay, the soil quality is not too bad over here where we're farming currently. Temperature. It's normal. Zone visibility. On and off. All right. We're just waiting for this new family to arrive. This path has just formed over time from these guys uh, using the same path. So it does have paths do form over time from uh, from overuse, right? How are the families made? Good question. I don't know. 72 apples, 21 blueberries, and 75 potatoes these guys have right now. They must have come over here to buy potatoes, right? We have some some potatoes. So we don't actually have to sell all this stuff right a lot of this stuff that we have in storage i mean it's good to sell it but we take a tax 
and we want to start maybe using it within our own uh, our own area, right? So in terms of tax, accounting reports for um, let's see for the Baines, uh, we're gonna have fifteen grain, fifteen. That doesn't seem right. Out of 158, we're only taking 15. And we're taking 4 out of 36 potatoes for the summer. I thought we'd have way more shit than that. Okay, for the Bratois, we're going to get 23 blueberries. Oh, look, the new family are here. They've just arrived. Okay, so let's... Um, Let's get this uh, zone here. So we're going to get a essential household. Regular household for a peasant family. Build enough space for beds, kitchen, and the dining hall. Okay. They need all of this stuff. Let's get them set up here for now. And then we're going to assign the Courcelles, who sworn to cultivate the land by fee farm. Paid to you for each season. Right. That's fine. Paid to the clergy for each season. So they're going to give me 10 silver per season. By the Lord before whom this sanctuary is holy, this agreement is sacred and shall not be disputed. Okay. Let's give them this household. And then let's also grant them this hunting area. 10% of resources produced are taxed to you each season. I want 20. Okay. That's good. And uh, some of it will go to the clergy. No. We don't need anything to go to the clergy. We don't even have a clergy right now. But I'm taking 20%, okay? They might not be happy about this. Let's just wait and see. Okay, good. They're starting already. What are they doing? Harvesting stuff, it looks like. Okay, we're going to have to get them some furniture straight away. So they're going to need some storage barrels to store apples and shit like that in. So let's get them a couple of small barrels. I don't think they're going to be able to, to do any of this stuff. What else that need, is needed here? A hideout, a forest feeder, a trap, a knackery. Yeah, we need a knackery, right? Anyone can build a knackery. So this is going to store dead animals for now. Okay. Meat hooks. Requires a carpenter. Ground depository. Let's get this set up here. What else do they need? A weapon rack. Anyone can build this. But we need a steel rod. Storefront cabinet. What does what do they store in a cabinet? Oh, just that kind of stuff. Drawers, weapon rat, knackery, trap, and a forest feeder. So a forest feeder just needs six planks, but it needs a carpenter. And it attracts wild animals to an area. Okay, so we can't make that just yet. But we can soon. What was the other thing that was needed? A hideout. This needs a carpenter as well. Hidden structure providing better view for hunting. All right, that's fine. For now, we'll just do this. Okay, another thing that they, they need for sure is uh, production essentials. Let's give them a nice wooden block that they can use to make their firewood and stuff like that. Let's also give them a delicious storefront. There's five people here too, so we're going to have to give them enough enough place to live right we got five people okay let's get a wooden door on here let's get some dirt path floors connect this up like that uh, we're gonna want to have a roof And then we're going to need to make some beds and stuff too, right? Five beds at least. God, that's disgusting the way that these people have to live, right? Okay. Make them a chest so that they can store their wealth in. 
Um, let's also give them a small barrel so that they can store their foodstuffs and what whatnot in. Put that um, here outside, actually. <laughs> and then we also need to give them some drawers, a cabinet, a drawer. Anyone could build a drawer, right? And this is... No, we don't want drawers. We want shelves, right? So they can store meat and stuff. Anyone can build a small shelf. Okay, I think this stuff can just all fit. It's fine, right? What do they have in here? 144 acorns and 10 apples. What the hell do you sell? What do you do with acorns? What do you, what, what, we got Alvin and the chipmunks living in our in our town or something? What, what do we need acorns for? To sell it to people to plant more trees or something? I don't know. We can grow oak trees. All right. Structure blocked. Structure can only be accessed via their access points. Villagers can only use structures within their own or public zones. Okay. Access to the structure is blocked. Why? Oh, they built the uh, the furniture first. Weird. Okay. It might not be blocked in a minute. Once uh, once they're done working on all this crap, right? We need carpenters. We need carpenters real bad. Real bad. Alright. So they're storing the acorns and apples locally now, too. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why they're doing this. They're trying to store their wealth in here. They've done it. They have stored their wealth. They really hate this. They can't figure this one out at all. How do we get rid of this now? Storage. Erase a structure. Dismantle a structure tool. They hate this. They can't figure it out. Look, they just cannot figure it out. Got firewood, wood, clay, and wood rods, and no resources. Okay, so we'll have to try to dismantle that chest and move it. It's not looking too hot right now. How are these guys doing? They got apples, blueberries, fish, and they have so many potatoes. They have an eye-watering... They have a staggering amount of uh, potatoes. It's insane. Okay, they really do not like this chest here. Or maybe it's just that they don't like the small shelves that contain 100 normal meals. How can I, um, how do I get, how do I dismantle this, this chest? Hide UI? Get a brothel? Yeah, I'm working on it. Maybe I just got to put it like this instead. Maybe if I put the work order in, they'll, they'll just uh, dismantle the old and put in the new. Possibly? We might need to get a caravan in first, right? Oh, my God. To deliver tools and stuff? Because if we could get, like a, like, a hunting bow or something like that, then we could actually get these guys hunting. What's Dowie's profession in the game? I don't know. I can't um I 
I can't figure out how to do this. Furniture, erase structure, dismantle structure, erase all blueprints, decorations, production, storage. I, th I think I broke the game. I think I broke the game with this, putting this chest here. Maybe you gotta get rid of this thing first. Oh, there we go. It's in the way. And then we put this one here. Okay, so then we can put the small shelf back here, like that. I did it. I got it. If only I read the chat. Yeah, sorry, I just read the, I read the, I just read after I'd done it, sorry. Sorry about that. 21 blueberries. I guess you could probably make some uh, sweet ass blueberry pie or something. 200 grains. This silo is completely full. Let's get another silo built. They need another one. They need one, and they need another one so bad. Okay, the chest is built. This is built again. They populated it with stuff. All right, everybody's feeling pretty good now, it looks like. Okay, um, we want to have a zone for a caravan marketplace. A marketplace dedicated for traveling salesmen. No profession required. Just needs to be five by five. Let's put it here. There's a caravan marketplace here. Traveling salesman. Caravans will only arrive if you have an empty storefront and caravan storage. They will mostly bring resources that are demanded by your villagers and are lacking critical supply. Okay. So we want to have caravan storage. Anyone can build this. It needs two planks. And then we just need a storefront. Okay. We're putting everybody to work here. So let's see if the traveling salesman can give us some of the goods that we don't have. Any uh, any uh, any traveling salesman arriving? Uh, if I go to my um, warehouse book and I go to trade and I go caravans, I can buy some of the stuff that I need, right? Um, like, what could I buy that I need right now, for example? What am I desperate for? Um, animals, bow and arrows, bows and bows and arrows. Right? A bow and arrow would be really good. A bow. Sold by locals for two silver, four copper. Or sold by caravans. Buy. Let's buy five bow and arrows. Okay. I'm going to buy five bow and arrows. And I'm going to also have a production peasants grinding stone no 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 none of this stuff i want a is it furniture storage it's a weapon rack anyone can build a weapon rack okay they can store their bow and arrows there right and then we just need a carpenter to sell us. Um, we just need to, to attract a family of carpenters as well so that we can build some of the, uh, the harder stuff, right?
All right, we just got to wait for the caravans to turn up now. <laughs> Look at this whole family just idling. They don't do shit. <laughs> they, don't, they don't do anything. The weapon rack needs to go in the hunting grounds? Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah, you're right. It does. All right. Weapon rack. It needs a knackery. A trap. Anyone can build a trap. It just needs a steel rod. Spring trap to capture wild animals and impair their movement. Okay. So that comes under production, I think. Peasant production. Trap. Okay, let's set up this here. A tanning pit requires a carpenter. A tanning log requires a, ca a carpenter. Spinning wheel, saw horse, a rope walk, oven. Mine chap, loom requires a carpenter. All this stuff requires a carpenter. The hideout needs one. Grinding stone needs an architect. Stretching frame. A scraping log requires a carpenter as well. Flailing spot. A filtering tub. No. A dig site? No. A butcher's table. Needs a carpenter as well. Brewing station. Uh, needs a carpenter. Anyone can build a bloomery, though. Extracts valuable material from ores. Six copper ore and eight coal goes equals one copper ore bloom. What the heck is that? What is a copper ore bloom? Anybody? Anybody in the know on that? There's no, there is music. It's just not on all the time. It's actually kind of nice that there's not music on all the damn time. You know, sometimes like when the music loops around all the time, it's annoying, right? Yeah. Better? You happy with that? 40 wood and 40 wood in a trash pile. 8 wood in a trash pile. A flippin' trash pile. So this needs ground storage, ground depository, outdoor feeder, tree, chest. A knackery, a small barrel, barrel storefront. All of this stuff needed in there. In this place of work. Storage. A ground depository. Okay, let's put that in, in there as well, right? Get some, some more of this stuff. Put these guys to work a little bit more too. How are we doing with the fishing? 11 fish, 236 personal fish. These guys are never gonna run out of fish, by the way. Like, it's impossible. They have so many fish. What are these guys all doing? Who are these guys? Oh, it's a caravan. Nice, okay, they're sleeping on the caravan spot caravan has arrived they will soon offer their goods in a storefront at the caravan marketplace okay nice i guess they gotta wake up first they're sleeping under the stars yeah you can make an inn for them i suppose an inn would be a good thing to have right I just, we gotta set it up though i need i need somebody to freaking work there too though 42 bows, 16 clothes, 3 fine clothes, 37 butter. Oh my lord. 
Resources can only be purchased if the seller has an open storefront and they decide to sell the resources themselves. Sure. <clears throat> hey, Sips, bruv. Yes, bruv. Okay, the villagers are buying stuff that they need from the caravan. It's nothing to do with me either. I don't need to, like, give them money or anything. The, the caravan just turns up with stuff that these people want to buy, and they buy it. They're wheeling and dealing. Hey, Anonymous, Come. thanks so much. Jesus. Anonymous, th thanks so much for the 10. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, bruv. All right, bruv. All, all right, mate. Hello, mate. Oh, shit. We got bows and arrows, baby. They're doing it. Belongs to the family of Courcel. Courcel. Okay, let me look at the family of Courcels. The family of Courcels can hunt. They can also build, cook, and woodcut. Building, cooking, and woodcutting. They're hunters, though. Uh, we can uh, imprison one. We can enlist. We can make one of them a servant of ours. Do we need uh, more servants? I don't think so, actually. So now we have hunters, but like uh, we need carpenters. Carpenters is what we need next, right? So let me see about requesting a family of carpenters. We have 47 favor points. Um, carpenters, leatherworking, masonry, rope making, smelting, tailoring, tanning, butchering, brewing, bow making, blacksmithing, carpentry. Cost in favor, 80. We need 80 favor points. How the heck do you get more favor points? So I got these, I got this, these hunters, but I can't do shit with them. Except for collect apples and blueberries. Now now we just have dead deer, but we have no, like, uh... I mean, maybe they'll sell uh, some stuff back to the caravans, potentially. I can't... What's... The family of Nye. Warwick Nye. So, tax payment day. Oh, nice. Time for your villains to pay what they owe you on taxes. That's great. Okay. Um, if I go to my accounting reports, no, if I go to my warehouse book, I can now purchase, this family is not current, the Bane, the Courcells, they're not selling, they need to access the storefront during the market opening hours, okay, caravans, the Nye are selling, Okay, we gotta wait for them to wake up and have access to a storefront during the market opening hours. This is it. Okay, so I can buy from them food, butter, limestone, silver, steel rods. I guess I could just buy like eight steel rods so that we have them. I could buy chicken, uh, cattle, and pigs. Do I want to buy any animals? Not yet, right? I don't have anybody that can actually do shit with them. I guess the... F can farmers do do something with the animals, or do or do, do I have zones? Hang on a second. Let me see. Zone for peasants, hunting, butchery, tannery, tailors, masonry. What does this come under? Just farmland, land restricted farming and tending livestock. Okay, so farming, ground storage, barrel, tree, outdoor feeder, chicken bed, churn, flailing spot, farming soil. Okay, so the farmers could potentially have chickens and cows and shit like that. I could buy, the, buy it for them. Or they could buy livestock themselves, right? If I set up the stuff for it, they might want to, to buy some uh, livestock. So if I turn zone visibility on and I go to farmland, chicken bed. If I set up a chicken bed, they might buy a chicken, right? Let me see. Furniture? No, it'd be production, right? Peasant production? Clergy, nobles, essentials? You think it comes under uh, essentials? 
Jail chair, jail bench, wooden tree. For planting seeds of trees. Trees go faster in forests. It's beautiful, can be walked over. Anyone can build. Raw production is wood pears, wood rod, acorns, apples, and blueberries. Wooden graves, training dummy, speaking table. An outdoor feeder. For animals to eat from, can be filled with straw, acorns, and vegetables. Flailing spot, farming soil, churn. Chicken feed, chicken bed. Where the frig do you get a chicken bed from? Oh, here, okay. All right, should we just, like, let's purchase, let's make a chicken bed. Oh, hang on a second. I didn't see um, what's needed for a chicken bed. Do we need a carpenter? No, anyone can build that. And the outdoor feeder, anyone can build this as well, right? Okay, let's set some of this stuff up and see what these guys do. I'm just, I'm used to having to do everything, but I feel like in this game, you can just kind of like, they manage their own family, right? Like they have all their own finances, everything. Like they're just trading. These guys are just doing like a brisk trade. They brought all of their, it, it's like doc, the family of Dr. Doolittles. Oh no. Consume, this guy wants all this stuff? He doesn't want soldiers though. Okay, so we have to pay. We need to start getting some wood rods. We might have to seize some wood rods. We have enough planks. We have enough wood. We don't have enough fish. We don't have enough potatoes. We don't have enough blueberries. He wants 83 grains as well. Consume resource even when the stock is below the tax amount. You're doing great, Dad! Hey, Sips. He wants it in Last a year. year. I thanked you for indirectly inspiring me to quit a job that was killing me. This year I'm making more money at a job I love, and in spring I'll be starting construction on a real home. Thank you for being you, nice. sincerely and truly. Hey, Brave Wiles? I'm so, so glad to hear that, man. Good for you. Well done. Well done. Good one. And thank you for the 20, and also, keep up the good work as well. Never stick it to, at something that's making you miserable, right? It doesn't matter what it is. A job relationship anything right you, you just got you have to you have to you, you you gotta seek a happier place right and and when you're happy things fall into place a lot uh, a lot better right i know it's not always like as straightforward as that but that that's got to be like roughly your your goal right and it sounds like you've done it good for you man good for you thanks so much all right, I have to, in, in a year's time, I have to pay all this stuff. Some of it I can pay straight away. Um, but we have to stockpile some of this. Royalty requests taxes every autumn. You'll have one year to build up a stock to pay them. If you fail, your relationship will decrease and you might even lose the land. Okay, but if we're successful, we'll get more favor and then we can attract more families, right? Feeding animals? Villagers will use the ingredients that the assigned animal eats. Some animals can also peck the ground or eat wild grass. Did they buy an animal then? Chicken. Chickens will lay eggs in their bed. Owners let fertile eggs to, to hatch until they reach the animal zone limits. Okay, so there's an animal zone? No, there's not an animal zone, right? We can set a limit, sign priorities, farm the market, uh, open warehouse book, show inventory, edit zone, create a template, erase a zone, farmland, assign a family. That's all already all done, right? So what's the limit on animals? Four people, farming zone. What's this two here mean? And there's a two here as well. What, is the, what does this mean? What could it mean? What do we need for animals? Zones. Clergy, nobles, essentials. Tavern, cottage, stables. Stables are a living area for your animals where they can be fed and cared for. So this needs a churn, a chicken bed, outdoor feeder. So what's the difference between uh, the stables and, um, and farmland, which can have all the same stuff, right? It's a place for livestock as well. Peasants. 
I guess you just can't have like farmland as well. Oh, stables is for the my royal family, right? I see. So I have my own stables. Manor, cottage, marketplace, tavern. Tavern should have the most expensive furniture and serve only the best food to attract citizens of the noble class, whereas the inn can serve villagers and provides housing for travelers. Inn is required to expand your settlement and can be managed by any peasant family. So we can get like uh, like uh, Alfie Moon in there. We can get the Moon family from EastEnders in to uh, manage our inn, right? Or Hot Pie's mum. Public area for shared structures and public gatherings. Execution site, z jail. Caravan marketplace we've got already. Needs a campfire. You can have a campfire for them there too. They'll sleep there if they don't. If there's no inn. Cooking facilities for servants to prepare meals for the ruling family and the army. Okay. Town hall, cottage, manor, household. Okay, so essentials is like my stuff. This is peasant stuff, right? Glass mill, rope mill, a builder's guild, office for the architects to provide services of advanced construction, carpentry, forge, furnace. This is all peasant stuff, clergy stuff, and then noble stuff, right? We don't have any nobles. We're, we're nowhere close to having nobles. Okay, so these guys should be able to have uh, animals here, right? And maybe they'll buy some if they want. Oh, there's little rabbits. Looks like we got a couple of little rabbits. We got a, a bunch of dead deer up here as well. So we can set, like, massive hunting zones if we want to. Like, we could, for example, we could set another hunting zone down here and have our hunters come down and kill rabbits and stuff. I don't know if these guys are going to buy animals on their own. I think maybe it's a step too far, right? We might have to buy a chicken and sell it to them instead. And this caravan is visiting forever. Might need to move the storefronts from the family households into their production lands. Oh, right, I see. You think you, you think that that's uh, the case? Small store for villagers to sell their goods. Which one is which? Like which one is which? It, the green is where people uh, stand, right? Training dummy tree, speaking table, memorial grave. Okay, let's try this. The dirt path that connects onto there. You think that the storefront being in the production zone instead of the household, it makes more sense, right? Because the household is just where they live and they store their personal stuff. But then the production zone is where they store all of the production and taxable stuff. So it would make more sense for them to have the storefront in the production zone. It's listed in the needs. Yeah, it, it is. You're right. Okay, let's see if it makes a big difference. It still works, though. Like, they just came to buy something. These guys, this guy came to buy grains from here. This guy bought a potato. He bought a potato from his own sister, only to then go in and eat it. Interesting. Very interesting. So this... Um this storefront we want to um, buy? Purchase my resources. Oh, they're not selling now. That storefront's empty. 
Oh, the storefront's empty because it's uh, it's it's not uh, market time, right? It ain't uh, it ain't market time. It's not it's not market time. Dismantle structures. Okay, dismantle this one. It's a neat little game. It really is. It it, it really is neat. It's a, it's such a it's such a nice uh, idea for a game too, right? Because you're basically in great detail setting up your own little town, effectively that you're the lord of, right? You need to go into the priority settings in the farmland zone to set up chickens. They will buy the chickens by themselves. I should also mention you need kitchens in each household in order for them to make meals for themselves. All right, so I need to I need to get kitchens made in each household, and is that a zone? Or is this just come under furniture? Or is it production for peasants? Butcher's table, kitchen. Is there a kitchen? Is there a kitchen um, item? Or do I actually need to set up like a kitchen zone? Essentials, kitchen. Cooking facilities for servants to prepare meals for the ruling family. So that's not it. For, so for peasants, it would be. Bakery, tannery, farmland. No, no, no. It's not in here. No? Production. Production. Production for peasants. Um, windmill, trap, tanning, tailoring, spinning wheel, essentials? Storefront, throne, training dummy, wooden block? No. A well? Oh, I guess a, a well would be good for them too, right? Speaking table, public guard, post, cooking table. Oh, cooking table. Basic table to prepare food and cook meals. Right. Oh, so it's that one. A place to sell beers, meals, and bedrooms at the inn. Aha. Okay, so cooking table anyone can build and... Uh, they'll be able to make meals with uh, cooked ingredients and stuff. Okay. Because otherwise they're just going to be... Can you? Can I set this up here and they can still access the bed? I think I've made the houses a little too small. I think I need to make them some bigger houses. I mean, it's a huge family, right? Okay, how do I do the, uh, the priority thing? So, farmland... Um, adjust priorities, storing priorities, potatoes, so we want to get eggs for chickens, and if I, so if I put eggs as a priority, then they will seek chickens to buy it? Oh, there's an animal tab on, oh, I see, chickens. Let's have two chickens. Sorry, I see, I see, I see. No. Two chickens. Grain, butter, apples. Oh no, it's not two chickens. It's, uh, it, this is just the priority, right? So we can just, like, have it like a priority one. And it'll just, uh, it'll try to do it. Grain, butter, apples, rice grain cheese and pears storage egg okay all right let's see if this actually works then oh that that is how many chickens they'll look after okay let's just look after one for now and so they'll buy the chicken from the caravan freely right to uh to, to meet that it's nice to have the control, but then it's nice also not to have to, like, spend the money, right? Oh, and it shows me everything that I need uh, for um, for the taxing, right? So I need some more wooden rods. I need some potatoes. I need some grain. So, hang on. So if I go into my accounting reports, um, I can see that in summer... They gave me 45 grain. They gave me 1,001 money. Wait, that's not right, is it? They gave me 1,001 money? 
they gave me 45 straw and they only gave me four potatoes and they only produced 42 potatoes? That's not right at all, is it? There's 234 potatoes here. They produced way more potatoes than that. Did they not? They got 84 potatoes here. Oh, you know what? I just realized as well, actually. Production. No, it's storage. Small barrels to store the potatoes in, right? That they're harvesting. Okay. What, uh... Do I need to have a small barrel in their household? Or will they just get like what they need? They don't need to store that much stuff, right? Is is this small is the small barrel in the household screwing things up? They're scamming me, aren't they? Because I should have had way more potatoes at the end of the season. Yeah, no, the sawhorse is in the royal forest. I did move that in there. So this one can actually go, right? Production dismantle this yeah the sawhorse is in here and they're making planks they're making planks big time okay it's great okay so I need to start moving stuff out of their households I think is the uh, is is what I'm, I'm thinking now right so let's get rid of this So apples, blueberries, and potatoes. Store it in here, right? And then if I go into accounting reports for the Baines, um, the autumn, they've consumed five potatoes so far. So they've produced 66 straw, and I've, I've taxed seven from them already. 456 grain produced and I taxed 45. So the potato production is not right. 192 wheat. We didn't tax any wheat? We can't do anything with wheat anyway though, right? So we don't tax it. It's the straw and the grain that we that we tax instead. Po potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, so silo for grain, silo for more grain. So they can just freely sell grain to whoever buys it. So whether that's a caravan or what, whatever, right? They're just going to go for it. I still haven't built my manor, by the way. I don't have a carpenter. And I don't think these guys bought a chicken either. Maybe I need some fencing and stuff for the chickens. Oh yeah, I might be able to put the uh, the kitchen, the cooking table in here now. Yeah, you're right. Need six planks. Small shelves is empty. God, these guys are so busy, huh? It's crazy. Um, so storage, I want to get rid of all this storage and store it more on the, in here, right? So I need storage ground depository. Get it away from the household. Shelves can store meals for them, right? The meals that they cook. Okay, good. So now in my zones, that's good. So I can actually edit this zone. Make it a little bit bigger, even. And then the household doesn't need to be as big. And then there's still room for the household. Clothes, drawstrings, small shelves. They've got all their wealth in there. Cooking table contains nothing right now. No, Erica, I didn't go to the post. You know what? I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go to the to the uh, 
post office. We need a cauldron? Used for cooking and brewing. Anyone can build. Recipes, cooked honey, cooked hops, cooked milk, cooked water, a cooked ingredient, or a cooked herb. We need a cauldron as well. Okay, let me build this cauldron. This is going to cost one stone. I don't have any stone right now, I don't think. Is it open for business? 177 straw and three wood rods. I need more wood rods. I need more potatoes. I need more grains. I need more fish. Okay, fish needs to be sorted out too, right? Because they're storing all this fish here and not enough of it here. So let's go into production, dismantle this barrel. Good. Put the fish and the potatoes in there. And then we need to edit this zone as well, I think, right? The fishing uh, pool. So we're going to say edit zone. And do this. And then we're going to edit this zone. Yeah. Okay, so they're selling 38 fish, two clay, and one wood. Oh, and also we want the uh, this uh, clay and wood. I guess we probably want a... What does this need? Small barrel, barrel, storefront, fishing net, and a fishing rod. Okay, fishing net. We could get a fishing net. I can do that, right? Peasants. I have uh, enough yarn for a fishing net. Okay, let's set up this net here and see what happens. Okay, there's a new caravan has arrived. A new caravan has arrived with different people selling different stuff. Okay, what do I need to buy? I need to get some uh, some stuff sorted out here, right? I need some wood rods. So let's try to buy some stuff. Warehouse book. Purchase. Caravans. Okay, they've only just arrived. They're not ready to sell anything just yet. Let's let them get set up. Oh, no, it's nighttime, right? They're going to have a little sleep first. Man, we need an inn so bad. Okay, I feel like things are going a little bit better now, right? We need a well, though. Production. Essentials. Oh, well. Easy access to underground water. Now, should we build a well, like, centrally in a public um, spot? Zone. Fishing pool. Essentials. A public area. Public area for shared structures and public gatherings. Celebration bar, campfire, well, wooden bench, stone bench, stone statue, wooden chair. Yeah, let's get a public spot here. Our public spot's going to go here. And inside our public spot is going to be one well. This is the, the Burt Reynolds Memorial public area. For everyone to enjoy. Nice. Okay, zones... Let's get um, production, essentials. Let's get a storefront here. That's good. So this is the Royal Forest storefront, right? And then we're going to dismantle this and all this. And then we're going to have to set these guys up so that they can get... So they'll come to the, the, the central well here, right? To get water. Like they actually did in the medieval times. The real medieval times. Look at all these potatoes. 
Look at all these potatoes. Okay, if I go into accounting reports now for the for the Baines. So they produced 150 potatoes, and now I'm going to tax them 15 potatoes. Can I adjust my uh, my tax rate? Insufficient storages? Build more storages, ideally close to where they... Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Building is not reachable? Okay, let me cancel this building. We might, ne we might need to rethink that. Let's not do the net just yet. All right, we've moved all of the storage off of the, the homestead, which is better, right? Oh yeah, and we need to get rid of this too, right? I just got an achievement. Okay, let's get rid of that so that they can store this stuff up here. We might need more storage. Oh no, we want some some small barrels, right? For them to store stuff in. So now they should be able to store berries and all this other crap in here that they get. Acorns, blueberries. They've got a couple of potatoes. We got a chicken. We they bought a chicken. They did buy one. Chicken. Female. Young. Belongs to the family of Bane. <laughs> I love the name. They're cooking. They're doing something. Something's been cooked. They got milk, cheese, and normal meals stored in here. Man, these guys are going to be so happy. Okay. Inaccessible structure. How come? Why is it uh, not accessible? Zones? Should be fine. Uh, that looks accessible to me, right? Is it just because there's like a lot of trees and rocks and stuff in the way or what? Cook the chicken. Well, I think we need a butcher for that. We do need a... We need the butcher of uh, of uh, Blaviken to, to do that, right? The 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 butcher of uh, Bla Blaviken. Blaviken. Okay cauldron as well <sighs> these guys need bigger houses right we're gonna upgrade their household so I, they, these are they're, they're gonna become nobles these peasants are gonna elevate the, these these peasants they're gonna elevate themselves to the highest reaches they got everything they need now to thrive and survive the whole family is out there foraging up a goddamn storm. I love it. Get a well so that they can boil stuff? Uh, I think you find uh, right here that I have a well for them to boil stuff. Uh, they can access this well whenever they like. It's a, it's a, it's a public, public use well. If they need water, they can get it. This cauldron is empty. Okay, they've got cheese and milk and meals, and they're making love to each other. It's incredible. This is still inaccessible. Why is this inaccessible? Does anybody know? Is it because there's an apple tree in the way? And a birch tree in the way? And a spruce? Maybe I just got to get some uh, dirt paths in here. There, that should give us some access, right? Tidy the royal forest up a little bit, too. Uproot some trees and whatnot. That's better. That's much better, right? And then we can just keep all of the junk that comes off the back of that. Okay, so they're done. Um, these guys um, have one tool in a trash pile here. Not very nice. Cooking table. cauldron ok 
Okay, they can still access their beds, no problem. You gotta put a net by the shore to access it. Okay. Production. Peasants. Fishing net. Like that. Nice. So I don't need to take a servant from the... They just sold some fish. Looks like we just sold a little, little bit of fish. Real nice. Real nice. Real, real spiffy. Real nice. I think we need some more storage space here, right? To store more goods. Okay, this is completely accessible now. Our guys are making planks. Like there's no tomorrow. So wooden rods, potatoes, grain, fish, blueberries. Okay, what zone is this? Right, so this needs to have um, production essentials storefront. Storage. Let's get some ground depository stuff here. And then get rid of this and this. And this barrel too. And then we're going to get small barrels in here to store all the blueberries and stuff. So that we can tax. We can tax all the bits and pieces that we need, right? And then we have to get these guys uh, some cooking facilities and stuff too. And actually probably extend their zone a little bit. Did these guys build their cooking facilities and stuff? Yes. They're all set to go. They're storing one normal meal. Everybody else is in a lot of trouble. Oh, look. The net has caught fish. Two fish in the net. Look at these guys go. Man, they're fishing like crazy. They love it. Yes, it is like Stardew Rimworld. It's a little bit like Stardew Rimworld. It is a little tiny bit like Stardew Rimworld. Okay, so blueberries, I feel like I'll probably um, be able to get the uh, required blueberries. We have uh, 32 blueberries here. Are we foraging up here? We could probably extend the zone here too, right? For the um, for the royal uh, royal forest to cover some more uh, blueberry hotspots. They're they're out of season now, though. I think, right? Oh no, we wanted to extend this zone actually. When do uh, when when do blueberries come back into uh, into into season? Spring, autumn. My balls. Okay, good. We got a couple of blueberries and acorns here. Man, these guys are just going for it, huh? It's crazy. It's when September ends? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, one blueberry, six fish, ten pears, 848 potatoes. Shit! The beans have produced 528 potatoes. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of potatoes. They've also consumed 73 potatoes in that time. My lord. Okay, 
I need to check an accounting report for uh, the Bretois. The Bretoils. I want to see how many uh, wooden rods I can expect to get. Only 20. They produced 207. I'm going to need way more wooden rods than that. I'm also going to need way more grain than I think I'm getting back from the Banes. Um, grain, I'm currently taxing 11. So this is all due at the end of this year, right? So that means, um, what, what, what's the, uh, what was the, when's the due date for this stuff? Goals for 1401. 1401. 1401. Pause time. What's the, what's the year right now? 1401. I wonder if I can separate and just become my own king, you know? So that I don't have to pay any tax. I'm not used to paying tax. So when I have to pay it, it pisses me off. You know? I get so pissed. <laughs> What's the verdict so far? It's pretty great, actually. I like it a lot. It's a nice game. It's real nice. It's uh, it's one of those games where you just kind of set things up and watch it play itself, which is uh, I'm not complaining. I love that. That's uh, that's something I like in a game, right? Like these families just sort of you 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 set them up for success and they make it work. Look at this guy. He's making meals and cheese and everything. That these guys are, will be really happy as a result. <coughs> we need to set up a barracks zones. Essentials. I need a barracks here uh, for these soldiers to live in. Um, let me get uh, a hay wall. Let me get some dirt paths here. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, let's get a thatched roof. Let's get a, um, a little wooden door. And then inside, let's also have, um, some straw beds. We have two soldiers currently, am I right? Straw bed, small shelves, campfire, drawers, wooden table, wooden chair, standing candle, training dummy. Okay, I'm just going to go for beds for now. Let's put these guys to work. Use up some of this stuff. We got some more straw coming, coming to us, right? It's fine. And then these guys need to have some cooking facilities and stuff set up as well. Does this need to be indoors? It doesn't necessarily need to be indoors, right? It can just be outside. I'm setting it up outside. I don't know if this is right or not. We're going to try it out. <clears throat> just make a cooking house? What, like a central cooking house? I could, I guess. So that they don't have their own kitchens. Household. The Courcelles. The Courcelles. Courcelles. Small shelves. These guys have mushrooms. 28 mushrooms. There's all these pears on the ground that nobody's picking up. And there's some clothes on the ground here too that nobody feels the need to pick up for some reason. Why isn't anybody picking up these clothes that are on the ground? Why not? Oh, look, they're all tired. This guy's eating a raw fish. He just ate a raw fish. They have no food. They don't even have a cooking fire or anything. They have to just uh, forage and eat berries and stuff until I get them set up, right? They're nudists. <laughs> they are nudists, yeah. Production? Essentials? Churn? Where is a campfire even? throne oh, 
Well, I don't seem to have a campfire in this list. It says it wants a campfire for a caravan. Maybe they can cook their own meals there? All right, they're all set up. They, we've we've uh, we've enabled them to be um, very successful, right? They're ready. <laughs> These guys are worried because they ran out of deer. They're all out of deer. They ran out of the deer. The days go so fast, holy crap. These guys are all, they, they've already stopped trading. Immediately they've stopped trading. Okay, our barracks is all ready. They have 10 pairs in here. 10, 10 pairs. All right, I still have enough straw to give. I got planks. Uh, I still lack uh, wood rods. Potatoes, grains, fish, and blueberries. These are all things that the king would like from me at the end of the year. There's a new caravan here. There's a new caravan in town. And may maybe we have eggs now? No. We have 189 grain in the silo. That's wild. So it's not wheat season. It's currently... The 13th day of autumn. Today is the public hearing day. One day until the Sunday service. Three days until tax payment. 50 days until the royal tax payment. So we still have 50 days to go before we have to pay the, the royal tax payment. I feel like we're going to be able to tax all this stuff in 50 days. No problem, right? How many tax times will we get inside in the space of 50 days? Three? Or so? No taxation without representation. All right, keep it down back there, please. Come on. Not, we don't need this right now. Request a family. Favor points have not gone up. So I think in 50 days when I do pay my tax, the favor will go up enough where I can request another family, right? Getting the hunting family in was useless, right? We don't have butchers or anything. We don't have anybody, we don't have a tanner, we don't have anybody who can use the proceeds of hunting. I think we needed a carpentry family first. That would have been better, right? And then we could have made better stuff for these people to use. And then they would have gotten more products. Yeah, I built a, I built a barracks and beds for the soldiers so they don't have to sleep outside. We have one person... We have Gurmund Osmont, a day guard. He's wandering around. He's freezing cold. We have a campfire here. So where's the where where do you get a campfire? Where do you build one? Production? No. Decoration maybe? Fireplace campfire. Oh here we go. Can warm up room and provide light. Anyone can build it. Just a stone that's needed. We need to get some more stones as well would be nice. So we're not going to have any um, any grains produced here because this is ju it's just potatoes, right? This is potato harvesting season. Wheat is... Uh, it's Sunday service day. Okay, so there's no trading today. Sunday service. So this is where like having a clergy and stuff would be good. They can still work. But they just don't trade. Nobody trades on a Sunday, apparently. Got a bow and a crossbow. Nice. Have we had a winter yet? We haven't we haven't even made it through a winter yet, have we? We're we're coming up to our first winter. Winter's coming. Yeah, that's right. Shit. 
If you built an inn, you can attract new families. Oh, with the inn, you can do that? So I should should work on, on, a tr on making an inn? I guess that's good for the caravans to have somewhere to stay and stuff, too. An inn by this pond? I think I want to set up my inn here. Oh, look, it's turning to winter. Come on, harvest those potatoes before it's too late. Let's get a huge potato harvest in. And then let's do a, a crop rotation over to wheat. For, uh, look at this. It's happening. So many potatoes have been acquired. Will they be able to do ice fishing? Hopefully. We have a lot of fish. Still haven't made the manor. I'm sleeping in here with the help right now. Walls. Zones. So for a manor, I need a noble bed, a noble double bed, small shelves, wooden block, a ground depository, ground storage, drawers, cabinet, chest, good wooden table, an upholstered chair, standing candle, a campfire, and a fireplace. And you actually need to have a full fireplace. So the manor itself uh, can have a kitchen. A kitchen zone inside the manor. A stables. Cottage we've already got. Warehouse uh, in a jail. We could have the jail as part of the manor. An execution site as well. In the public area. I, we could probably set this up so much better than we have, right? Can this game go really bad quickly, like in RimWorld? No, I don't think it... Well, it does, not so far, it doesn't seem to be able to, but you never know, I suppose. I guess it probably could, really. I guess it can just go real bad. Um, okay, so here we want storage. A ground depository. And then we're going to want to get rid of this one here. These guys eat outside in the cold. We may, we force them to eat outside in the cold. Look at all the normal meals we have left. 42 normal meals, 184 normal meals. It's like so many normal meals. Oh, the caravan are using this campfire. It's tax payment day. Oh, shit. Uh, prepare for the money to roll on in, baby. Oh, man, I can't wait for them to give me my due. I'm waiting patiently for you to deliver. Okay, the fish is done. We got all the fish that we need. We're waiting for a blueberry payment. Grain payment? We want a potato payment? Somebody's uh, just taken all of our potatoes. Okay, the potato payment is in. Very nice. We seem to be um, selling. Oh, you know what? I gotta change this, right? Open my warehouse book. Trade uh, to locals. I wanna stop selling stuff, right? meat potatoes because these guys can buy all this shit from each other right they don't need to buy from me now then i could save all this stuff for the building and stuff that i need to do except for yarn yarn we might have to sell or uh, or give actually we're out of storage here apparently we're out of warehouse storage that can't be there's no way all right, so we still need wood rods. We still need grains and blueberries. But to be fair, we still have quite a few days before all this has to happen. And it's like seasonal stuff. Except for the wood rods, we should be able to get them. But we might just be able to trade them from here. So let me go into my, not my accounting reports. My warehouse book, purchase, caravans. They're not selling. They need access to a storefront during the market opening hours. 
What time is it? Oh, the market's closed for the day. I didn't realize it was so late. More hunting grounds? No, they're kind of useless. We don't have anything that can process the corpses. So they're, they're killing stuff, but we're not doing anything with the... Uh, we don't have any butchers. We don't have any tanners. We don't have anything that can do anything with the hunting. It's foraging is the one that we want. Foraging like berries and shit from the woods. Because they count as ingredients towards meals. I gotta go check and see if I need to do the school run, chat. I'll be back in two seconds, okay? Um, I'll grab some lunch and stuff as well, and then when I get back, we'll carry on. I'll be back in a minute. See you in a sec. Sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back. I gotta go in like probably an hour and a bit though. Um, because I gotta go to this uh, thing for my kid's school. I scared you. Sorry about that. Sorry. Where were we? Oh, yes. Winter. <laughs> Just the start of winter. There's gonna be some cold people. There's already some freezing people. I think we need to get some campfires going for these people, right? It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a rough winter without a campfire. They have no heat. Temperature. The temperature overlay so far is showing me that it's freezing everywhere. We have no heat, so we need to we need to warm them up, right? They're, are they freezing? Freezing. Family business. Assign zones two. Adult sleeping. Show more. Conditions. Mood? Poor. Happiness? Normal. Reflects recent satisfaction needs, ongoing health issues, events, and ruler reputation. Conditions. Conditions can... Okay, so, cold. They're cold right now. Alright, so, if I go into decorations, campfire, can warm up room and provide light. A candle can light the room. An oil lamp, a standing candle, a lily's pot... Steel window painting. So it's got to be a campfire, right? Just a campfire right in the middle of the dam. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a couple of campfires set up here. Um, this can't be right. This can't be right to do that. Like, you should not have a campfire indoors ever. Right? It's no good. Well, these guys are going to sleep next to one. <laughs> okay. And so are these guys, it turns out. All right. Sure. We've got to warm them up. They're gonna, these guys are going to get uh, miserable fast, right? They need somewhere to warm up. Maybe we just put the campfire outside so that they can warm up a little bit and then they can sleep in a cold-ass room, right? Why not use a fireplace? Eh, that's more expensive, right? Fireplace... It needs eight brick. I don't have any bricks. These are these are just uh, th these are just like thatch uh, thatch houses, right? Like it's no good. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Look, these guys they have their own their own stuffs, right? Manor, uh, manor, 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 manor. Where's the zones? Zones, zones. Manor. So this needs. Um, so the, the manor itself, barracks needs shelves and a campfire, ground storage, and a ground depository. This is for cottage. Cottage. What is this? Zone. Edit this zone. Cottage zone. Let's put it like this. And then here we can get a place to store firewood and such. Right? Ah, looks like they got their fires on. Okay. We got some inaccessible structures here. How is this stuff inaccessible now? Oh, you know why it's become inaccessible? Wait, this should still be accessible, though. This is all inaccessible because I think the, the river has frozen. It's frozen over. Maybe we need to put a campfire close to... No, they're still fishing. Oh, maybe it's the net? I don't know what's going on. Oh, look. Their whole place is fucked. The, the fishing hut's too small. 
I don't think I think we need to move the kitchen stuff out into like a separate building or like have another room They, they need like a dining room and stuff too, right? Like it's it's too much Okay, let's do it. Let's do a hay wall here Like I, I got them packed in too tight. I think I got them packed in way too tight. Get a door here, and then uh, let's get like some freaking dirt paths. We need a hearth. We need a roof. Let's get a let's get a freaking roof in here too. It's time to. It's time. It's it's time for these people to really thrive. You know, it's it's thrive or thrive or survive. Thrive or thrive or die. It's time to thrive or die. Right. Even this is gonna be too small. Yeah, I got tea, Jardims. I'm I'm just about to have a sip of it right now. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's really, really nice though. Real nice. You think it's gonna be too small in here still? Yeah, it probably is. Right? It's gonna be way too small. I might have to like uh, bust it out a little. Do a little bust out. Just one one tiny little bust out. Get some dirt paths here. Look at this. Ah, it looks nice. Ah, it's, I tell you, the dirt paths look kind of good. No? The room only fits the dining table? Yes, but uh, we can knock down this uh, this wall here, right? Once, it's, once the rest of this is built. And then uh, make a bigger room. Move the beds like... Uh, ugh. God, there's not a, the the beds are too big. The people are too big. The map's too small. It's, there's something going on here. There's something happening here, and what it is ain't exactly clear. You know what I mean? Okay, I have to. Uh, I got to erase these br blueprints here because we need to actually go hay wall up to about here, right? Which means that we're then going to want to do dirt path in here. And then we're going to want to go roof. Like this. Then the zone is going to have to expand as well. To encompass. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Okay. Look who's talking now. Look who's talking to. Look who's talking now. Okay. So then uh, in walls, we want to dismantle this wall. This is going to be the biggest house the village has ever seen. This is the biggest one. You're laid up with COVID? Thanks for playing a chill game to watch while I'm sick. Hey, I hope you get better soon. I hope you feel better soon. That sucks to hear. It sucks to have COVID. You know what? I still haven't had it. Still haven't had COVID, me. Lucky. Luckily, I guess. Lucky that I haven't had it yet. Okay. Display temperature? The, the campfire does not warm up the whole room, it doesn't look. Like, maybe we some better insulation is needed? Maybe it's because they're like thatch... Thatch huts? That's why? You just spilled your tuna pasta on your clean shirt? Was the explosion in Jersey anywhere near you? Like about 10 minutes away. I mean, everywhere in Jersey is about 10 minutes away, though, to be fair. So it's not like we were not like uh, at all in any danger of being affected by it. Um, we found out some more, more of the people that were affected. I don't think we knew anybody in there either. But obviously, it's sad that um, so many people passed away. Um... It, it, it's odd. I was reading about it, and, and um, they've started a 
they started a criminal investigation, which I suppose you'd have to in, in, a, in a situation like this, but um, it's odd because they weren't hooked up to the, to the, the, uh, the gas mains. So I don't know, like, I guess we'll find out more soon or like when they, when they start the investigation, but the, the building was not hooked up to the gas mains and, uh, the, like the, the gas, the, the island's gas mains weren't affected by the blast either. Yeah, it's, it's a really weird one. So I don't know. I uh, will wait and see what, uh, what they come back with, but. Found to be someone's incompetence. Yeah. You'd, you'd think so, but um, I think initially everybody just thought that the that the gas that like the gas company, like the local gas company, had messed up. But um, it's looking like they released a statement. They said basically they're not on the mains. They're not even customers of the the gas company. Like it's it's nothing to do with us. Because I think they immediately started getting calls from people saying, "What the fuck are you doing?" Why have you let this happen or whatever? And they're like, they're not even on the mains. Like uh, they had to, they had to defend themselves. What's happened here? Do we not have enough straw to give these people? Have they run out of money? Is this our first bankrupt family, the Calmets? Accounting reports for the Calmets. Let's look at their finances. No, they got some money. They got considerable wealth. Shouldn't have any problem. They're still catching fish in the winter as well. 69 fish. Nice. Caught 69 fish this winter. They, 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 done, they done did it. They really just done did it. They done diddly did it. They done done... I done done diddly did it. What's going on here? Anyone can build, so they need some planks. Hopefully they've gone to the market to get all this stuff that they need. I'm hoping. I'm hoping and wishing and praying for all of these people to get all of the things that they so desperately crave. They need... They need this stuff, they, and they crave this stuff as well. God, they are craving. Let's get up some more paths set up. Everybody loves a good path, right? Okay, good. These construction jobs are being done now. This is nice. And we can hopefully look to move. Um, we want to uh, move this. You can't move stuff, though, right? Rooftop visibility, blueprint visibility. Yeah, we want blueprint visibility on. Production. A cooking table. We're going to set these guys up with a, a proper kitchen. Cooking table with a cauldron. Very nice. Decorations. Let's get them a campfire in the middle of their house that they can really enjoy. Um storage let's get them some small shelves here let's also get them a little chest here very good and we'll be able to move their beds and stuff out of the way right you love coffee and who doesn't right am i right oh this wooden block will need to move as well right production essentials wooden block the wooden block of course responsible for um, there's lots of recipes you can do you can make firewood you can do blocks and rods and ingots and all sorts of stuff on this wooden block it's used to work with stone ores or wood but primarily it's for firewood right It's just primarily a place where you can chop up some nice firewood and then store the firewood. You need the firewood, right? Let's put it like here instead. And then we can get rid of this one. Boom. It's, it's blocking the way. There you go. 
Nice. Okay, good move. Nice, nice, uh, nice delicate move there. We got the, the wooden block. You have imprisoned a fisherman in his house. Save him. I'm trying. We're trying to get some of this stuff done here. The cooking table is empty. Should be able to get out of here now. Um, let's go to furniture. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Dismantle this, this, and this. And these beds. Let's get rid of all these beds. This is a double bed covered in straw. Maybe they're not having more babies because they're not sharing a bed. I put them all in single beds. Maybe the mom and dad can still have babies. Maybe it's possible. Maybe anything is possible when you put your mind to it. Okay, these guys have much more space now. They just need to finish up some of these uh, building tasks. It's another bed. Here we go. The roof is complete. Spilled this double straw bed here, and we're good to go. Oh, this is great. Normal meals, yarn, some silver and copper, cooking table, cauldron. We got this. We've sorted out the fisherman's house. Okay, anyone can build this, so... It should be getting built soon. The only limit is your mind. Open your mind. Open your mind. Great. Great. Floors, dirt path. We need a dirt path there. So it looks a bit weird. Still haven't built the manor yet, by the way. Um, I have considerable wealth, so I could buy the stuff that I need from, um, the caravans that are passing, right? If I need anything. I don't have a carpenter yet, though. But I might be able to attract a family if I build a nice inn. Which I might build an inn. I might build an inn soon. Let me just sort out some of these families first. Make sure they have everything that they need to thrive. Got a couple of people who are cold outside. It's mainly just the caravan people. For that, we can give them a campfire, right? Inside their caravan zone. Campfire. I'm making one right here. Nice. Okay, and then we'll think about where we're going to set up an inn. Zone, um, an inn. Conserve villagers and provides housing for travelers. Inn is required to expand your settlement and can be managed by any peasant family. So we're going to want to have a peasant family managing the inn as well. I think the inn should be managed by the Banes. I think the inn is going to be managed by the Banes, okay? The Banes are going to uh, administer a small inn. Inn. Alright, so we need um, some walls. We're going to make them out of hay. We could make them out of cob. Cob walls. We want to make it out of cob. We do need... Uh, no. Let's make it out of cob. We're making it out of cob. This is going to be fantastic, by the way. Flooring. Crude floor requires a carpenter. All this requires a carpenter, except for the dirt path. Okay. Cob it is. It's cob in time. We might need to buy some wooden, uh, wooden rods from these guys, right? Let's see if we can do it. Warehouse book, purchase, caravans. 
it's too late in the day. We'll have to wait for them to open up in the morning. I don't think they're going to use the wood rods right now. Because, um... Oh, we, we can buy wood rods, right? We don't need... We can just buy wood rods directly from our, our villagers, right? We should do that. Instead of waiting for taxes to come in. Read the size re requirements. What, on the inn? Oh, wait. Did I not... Uh, the inn? It needs to be 15 by 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What the heck? This is going to be ginormous. It's got to be this big? Come on, that's way too big. That's ridiculous. I'm going to need so much cob for this as well. That's ins that's crazy. That's too big. 15 by 15 for the inn? Jesus. I guess the, it needs to be quite spacious though, right? I guess it does need to be a bit spacious. You wasted 404 hours watching my dumb stream this year? 404 hours? Jesus Christ, man. 7 by 7. Caravan marketplace needs to just be 5 by 5. Public area, minimum recommended. Minimum recommended. Minimum recommended. It's minimum recommended, chat. I think you can still make it however big you want. Okay. We're going to give this to the Banes. The Banes are going to run this for us, okay? In. Assign a family. The Banes. All right. The Banes now run the inn as well. Do they have enough family members to make it work? There's only four of them. It's going to be tough, but if they pool together, I think that they can do it. Right, we need to buy some stuff. Purchase. Um, from peasants, from the Banes, from the Bertuis. We want to buy like 300 of these rods. Uh, a wood rod sells for. Eighteen silver. Three hundred of them for eighteen silver. Okay, good. Wood rods. Please deliver my wooden rods to my uh, my storage warehouse. Here they come. Is this it? Nope. Yes. Okay, the wooden rods have arrived. This is good. Um, do we have enough clay? 10 leather armor. We've got wine and beer barrels here. Not many though, mind you. Manuscripts, copper, no, clay. Where the heck does clay come under? Material. Plank, wax, firewood. We got 12 clay. How much clay do we need in total? Oh, we don't need any clay actually. We don't even need wood rods. We're not building this. Why the hell did I buy so many wooden rods? Should probably buy some blueberries though. Uh, purchasing. Oh, okay. Nobody's selling right now. It's uh, the end of the day. Okay, so the inn needs its own well, a cooking table, and a cauldron, and a bar, of course, and uh, it needs beds. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's just a it's it's just a place for people to sleep for now. Okay, so that they're not out in the cold.
we'll put a campfire in the corner. And let's also place, um, I mean, we'll get a fireplace eventually, right? But we just don't have the brick right now. We're going to need to have a, um, a cooking table. And a cauldron as well. Ground storage, ground depository, wooden table, um, standing candle, chairs, a wooden block. Does it actually need a wooden block? Oh, for firewood. Yeah, probably, right? Okay, let me just see the zone. Zones? Uh, let me edit this zone to expand it out a little bit. Perfect. Production, essentials. Okay, a wooden block. Nice. All right, the the this is this comes at a significant expense to the Baines who are thinking about opening an inn with no bells and whistles. Like it, this is just the worst inn you can imagine. They just boiled some water though. Uh, they just boiled some water uh, to come back to this cooking station, though. So are they just using the inn now like it's uh, like it's a part of their household? Inn. Yeah, it is a communal inn, yeah. It's, it's better than nothing, right? So the, the caravan people can stay here overnight. Maybe we can attract some new families, we'll see. Let's get some small shelves in here, too. Only one person is cold. It's her. Because the campfire is so far away from her. <laughs> in the corner down here. I feel like if we if we uh, did a restart on this, I would have a better idea of what to do, right? Like it's a bit of a mess right now, but we'll make it. We'll try to make it work, okay? We'll try our best to make it work. Does the inn have a roof? Good question. No, it does not. I forgot to put a roof on the inn. Okay. The inn is gonna have a roof in a sec. I think a restart would be good when you have a bit more time to play. Yeah, I know. I don't really have that much time today, unfortunately. I wish I had more time. So it's so busy, like leading up to uh, Christmas, though, when you got uh, kids and stuff. Man, there's so much shit to do. You rate this in shit out of ten? <laughs> That's rude. That's rude. This it's the little inn that's trying its best. This this inn is trying its best. Look, we got a caravan that's just arrived. We might have some customers at the inn even. They're gonna have to buy all their meals. We've got five normal meals ready for them here at this inn. It's not bad. It's a bit rough and ready, but like at least it's like a nice warm place to to rest your head of a night. No? Look at that, so it's open for business. Here they come, look. Look, this person's eating in the inn. They just dropped off some cheese at the inn. No, it's milk. And yeah, they're making some cheese with the milk. Inn cheese. Nice, look at that. Don't sleep outside, guys, there's a perfectly good inn. Oh, it needs a shop front as well, right, the inn? I'm pretty sure. Does it? No, it doesn't even. It doesn't say that it needs one. It does need a bar, though. Place to sell beers, meals, and bedrooms. Okay, so we do need a bar. Very important to have a bar. Oh, shit. I mean, where the heck can I put this thing? They won't even be able to access the... We're going to have to expand the inn. Okay. It has to be... It has to be expanded... Just a tiny little bit. 
We're going to expand it out this way. Look. Oh, yeah. Expand it out this way. And then we're going to get some cob walls over to the side here. Maybe we can put the kitchen in here and then put like the uh, the thing there, right? Okay, we'll dismantle this structure here. Like so. Um, we need to put some flooring, some dirt pathing in. This guy's got to chop down a whole tree. And he's got to take it back to Bane Manor. Bane. Okay, good. Let's not forget the roof this time as well. Very important. Okay, look. An extension has been built on the inn in, like, record time. Honestly, that's so fast, isn't it? It's insane. Okay. Let's get, um... Let's get a bed here. <laughs> let's get some, like, uh, some beds in here. <laughs> It'll be like bunk beds. <laughs> My god. Oh, the worst, eh? This is the worst. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this bed and this bed here. Oh, yeah, and we're going to also have to probably get rid of this campfire here because there's no room to get in there now. And then, of course, we're going to want to have the bar. I think it's like this. It's like a Final Fantasy inn. This is what the, the inns in Final Fantasy are like, right? Cauldron, well, campfire. Do, 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 do. What a hot mess. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. All right. The fire is back on. Time to fuel the fire. Make some cheese. And then we can uh, we can rent out some rooms. It's some, some extra coin for the banes, right? This caravan are gonna they're gonna stay at the inn, and we're hopefully gonna attract a family of carpenters as well and get them set up in the uh, in the village. In the village. Where do people sit to eat in the inn? On their beds. For now. <laughs> They're going to have to just sit in their beds to eat for now. <clears throat> it is a bed and breakfast. Exactly, yeah. That's exactly it. Hopefully these guys can buy the things that they need with the caravan. Got all these hunters... You got all these hunters doing... Oh, man. I regret bringing the family of hunters in so early. We didn't need to. We just didn't need to. Lord Burt Reynolds had to sleep in a peasant bed and is not happy about it. He's complaining. Anyone can build this. It needs six planks. Should be able to uh, purchase the required planks needed. Do we have any eggs? Potatoes? Fish? Where do you where do they store eggs? Simple meals? Maybe they're just using the eggs straight away. Where do eggs get stored? Barrel? No. Maybe they get stored in a small shelf? Yeah, small shelf for eggs. Hey look! It's almost spring! Oh man! 
We're getting there. We're getting there. It's what's happening. It is happening. Eggs are stored not no, they're not stored in the balls, okay? Don't even don't even talk. Don't talk like that. Don't say that in this stream, okay? It's a, this is a family-friendly Christian stream. We're not here to talk about huge throbbing cocks and uh, big pulsating cum-filled balls and stuff like that. No. Only, only family topics, please. Uh, the inn is open. Look. People are here at the inn doing God knows what. The Banes are running the inn. <coughs> they got a monopoly. That guy just ate in bed. Can you talk about huge milkers? No. No, you can't talk about huge engorged milkers. Okay? No. It is possible to eat in bed, yeah. Nice. All right, well, the inn is open for business. We're just waiting for uh, some visitors. Looks like we got some visitors right here. Look. Some people have come from far and wide to uh, to stay at the inn. What are they doing? They're buying all sorts of shit. Mostly cheese and meals. This is a really brisk trade here. This is quite a brisk trade. Okay, everybody's going to bed. Looks like all the caravan people... Alexandra Moran. It's tax payment day. Fantastic. Okay. Um, it is 32 days until the royal tax payment day. Two days until the stewardry paydays. Tax payment day is in progress right now. And then we have six days until Sunday service and five days until the public hearing day. It's the first day of spring. This is wonderful. We have so many potatoes being stored. 519 potatoes plus 333 potatoes. The Banes are absolutely killing it. This is insane. Insane in the Bane. This storage is completely full. That's my warehouse. But wait, that's my warehouse. <laughs> That is, that is my warehouse. It is a tatty town, yeah, I know. I gotta I gotta make it better. I do have to make it better. I could have made the inn much bigger, it turns out, but what can you do, eh? Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta roll with it. You gotta roll with it. You gotta take your time. You gotta do what you say and don't let anyone else get in your way. You know? You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to make a kitchen for these guys. Um, we're going to build a cob wall. We're going to make like a cool L shape here um, for them. Uh, we're going to make a cob wall and uh, we're going to put some dirt paths down. We're also going to um, dismantle this wall here so that there's access into here. And uh, we're going to put some roofing on. It's going to be... Um, a plated roof? Yeah. Much better. Yeah. This is good. This is a, it's a it's a whole new it's going to be a, a this is going to be the year of the Bretuis. The Bretuis are going to be so happy. We're going to actually extend this into a bedroom, I think. Let's get some more plated roof on here, too. Nice. They're replacing the old thatch roof with some plated roof. This is going to be much better for them. And also, they're going to upgrade to a cob wall. It's neat that you can actually just upgrade on the spot like that. Heavy door does require a carpenter. Steel door requires a carpenter. Anybody can build a wattle fence. Okay. 
just to avoid people fighting and stuff like that, we might need to set up some wattle fence on the on the uh, land boundaries, right? I think the flooring all requires carpenters and architects. The only one that we can do is dirt path. Grass field. people at the inn just enjoying themselves we should really expand the inn we should think about expanding the inn because we could get proper tables and everything in there right the 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 bain family is not big enough to sustain the inn though because they got farming and shit to do as well right i don't know if the banes can do it maybe we get the hunter guys to do it instead since they just have fuck all to do like almost all the damn time there's five of them as well we can transfer ownership over. If only the inn was larger. I know, I know. Don't worry. I can make the inn even bigger. I keep forgetting that, like, the families have their own money and they'll buy the resources. I was, like, getting wooden rods and stuff ready, thinking that I, I needed to, like, front the whole thing, but I don't. I just don't have to do it. I have to move this chest out of the way. We got a couple of people stuck. can't build here for some reason. It's all this money is in the way. Okay, should be able to do it now. Can't build here? Cannot build here. Oh, it's because it's already been put down. Okay, good. Alright. Furniture... Wait, what is this? A straw double bed. Okay, a straw double bed has been created and then we just need four, four single beds, right? Along the top there. And now that means we can get rid of this bed, this bed and this bed. We could put like a dividing wall here too to make it a little bit more private in there. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Okay, let's move this here. Get this cauldron here. Get rid of this and this. And then let's also have a nice storage chest here. Oh man, look at this place, it's looking great. It's looking real nice. Real nice, real nice. <clears throat> no more babies? We want to encourage babies. Wait. The heck? Maybe they can do a hanky-panky in there. And make a baby. It's time for the family to grow. Alright. Put your considerable wealth. Yes. Into the chest. Nice. Very good. Get the cauldron built. Get rid of the other cauldron. 
Almost. You're so close. So close. Okay, these guys are looking pretty good now. It's looking a little bit better, right? Get some decoration out there. All right, what do you say about expanding this in then? Zone visibility, the in. Editing the in. Let's get it like this. Okay, I'll get it like this and then check this out. Floors, dirt path. Yes. Like that. We've got like a, a town, like almost like it looks like a town square forming, right? And we can go grass field here too. And grass field here as well. We don't want this like cutting right through the middle. <coughs> okay. We're making a, an inn to be proud of, right? We're going full cob. This is already cob. 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 Nice, 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 nice. Real nice. Okay. Floors. Let's get some dirt path all up in this. Start laying the, 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 the foundations. Get rid of these trees and stuff that are in the way. <clears throat> what is the name of my inn slash pub? Um, I'm going to call it the uh, the Smuggler's Choda. There's two caravans here right now. Is there a max roof span? Don't know what you mean. But we're going to go for the plated roof. It looks like... We'll have to finish the walls first. Let's get a couple of gerbs done here. The Banes are going to be so busy. This is going to be a big project for them because not only um, do they have to build the inn themselves, they don't have uh, that many family members. We could send uh, one of the Banes back, actually, because I've got one in my, in my service right now. Maybe that's the key. I'm opening my villager book. I'm going to check my domain. I've got Quant Bane. Okay, Quant Bane. You can go back to living with your family and helping them build the inn of their dreams. Look at this. Look, he's already made such a huge impact. <coughs> he's already made a massive impact. Am I going to have actual rooms in the inn? Uh, or one big one? What, like make it like a... Um, like a hostel? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Can't be removed due to risk of a roof collapse. Okay, so we're going to want to have some cob walls inside here too so let's make this like uh we'll do like a split here with a wooden door here <coughs> pardon me sorry i'm very phlegmy We can't risk a roof collapse. want to I think I need like a little kitchen area and then like some tables and stuff out there make it look like an actual inn some storage and then we can have uh, like a room in here right 
the rooms don't need to be that big. They just need to be like little, little rooms, right? But how's that going to work? So we'll have a wooden door here too. Staff only. And then we can get the, uh, the roofs replaced on here too. Man, the Banes are going to be poor after all this. Yeah, I'm replacing all the hay walls, yeah. Hopefully this inn is, uh, like, just the toast of the town. Everybody who comes from far and wide will visit the inn. We'll be able to attract new families. The Banes will be able to make some money back. Like, we're just hoping for the best here. It's gonna it's a it's a long process. We got uh we got some car caravans um sleeping sleeping rough as well, right? The last homely house. Worry, they've got. They know what they're doing. We might be able to attract some nobles. That's a uh, nobles, novels, novels, novellas. Twenty-six days until the royal tax payment is due. I think we're in good. We're in good shape for that. Honestly, that's not going to be a problem at all, right? No balls. No bells. No bells. No whistles. Floors. Dirt path. Already done. Dirt path all indoors here. It's no problem. I don't know how I'm going to do the uh, the beds in the inn. They, I don't know if, know if they necessarily need to be separate rooms. I think it would probably look better if they are separate rooms. But then the map's not really big enough, right? Or is it? Or is it? I don't know. Okay, let's get some more roof on. Oh, look, wheat is back on the menu. Looks like we got wheat. Wheat is back on the menu. Good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so what else do they want? Wooden bench, wooden chair... Ground storage, ground depository, small barrel, a barrel, cauldron, cooking table, bar, we've got it. They don't need, oh, barrel rails. Anyone can build the barrel rails. And this is for beer, mead, or wine. You can't put them there, though. So where would we put the barrel rails? Like here? 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 Let's put it here. See if this works. I don't know. Okay. We also want um, to have a, the cooking table in here. The cauldron in here. And then we also want to have the small shelves in here.
And then we can have a fireplace here too. We're building a fireplace inside the inn. Dirt paths. Should be able to get rid of this now. These poor caravan people, they want the inn to be open so bad. They can finance their. They can. They can buy bricks from a caravan for the uh, fireplace, right? It's nothing to do with me. Just the way I like it. Just the way that I like it. Open the inn now. It's already open. It's been open for business this whole time. This whole time it's been open. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Nice. Let's build the kitchen. Sweet. Let's get rid of this as well. Look at all the space we have for activities now. Oh, this, the inn is looking good now, no? Is anybody, anybody enjoying the inn? We got some barrels, I know. It's looking great. This is the inn of my dreams. I love an inn. Wooden bench. Anyone could build. A bench can host multiple people this is just a standard wooden table that anyone can build all right okay so we got the wooden table let's get some wooden chairs um, and then let's get a wooden bench too We can have a bench outside, even. Would anybody like to have an outdoor bench? The inn? Yes. Look, he's sitting down. This guy's sitting down, he's having a nail. Just need a couple more chairs. He's just relaxing. They come to the inn and they have a nice little relax. Wonderful. Okay, let's get a couple of beds in here so that people can uh, once again enjoy having a sleep in the inn. Just, 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 uh, just for now, right? It's it's a hostel. It's a youth hostel, okay? But at least it's somewhere warm to park your keister, right? That's the main thing. Look at them all, look, they're having a chat. They're eating their meals at a table. Oh, man. This is the inn of dreams. This is an inn that, dream, that dreams are made of. It's starting to look like a proper inn, I know. And look at the people, they're so happy. This is gonna really improve the mood around here. Okay, we've got a caravan that's arrived, no problem. They can sleep in the inn. Got all the beds ready just in time. Perfect. 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 Get a double bed going in the inn? That's dirty. I don't want people sleeping together in my inn. I don't want it to be known as a place where um, some hanky panky is taking place. This is a hanky-panky-free inn. 
Bitcoin's 12 potatoes to stay the night. We're desperate for potatoes, yeah. No, I mean, we really need potatoes. Lots of them. We need so many potatoes. Come on, Bane family. There's a couple more jobs left to do here. I know that you're busy farming and stuff too, but come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get these jobs done. And maybe you can uh, source some uh, bricks for your fireplace from uh, one of the caravans. Maybe the Bane family has run out of money. That can't be... That can't be it, though, right? There's no way they ever run out of money. <laughs> request a family. I've only got 47 points. I don't have enough to request a family from royalty here, but my inn could potentially attract a new family, right? A traveling family. Here's one right now, look. They're here to buy all sorts of drinky poos. Okay, let me check the accounting reports for the Banes, because... Man, come on. They've consumed 5 beer barrels, 25 pints, 23 blueberries, 7 cheese, 46 clay, 1 drawstring boot, 63 firewood, 12 fish, 23 milk. Look, they are consuming like there's no tomorrow. They consumed 333 wood rods. Oh, that's the right to build the inn. The fields are looking real sad. Well, I don't think the Banes have enough time to tend to the fields because the inn is so jam-packed. There's like one person working the fields. It's not going to be a huge harvest. We need more Banes. What do I, who do I think is going to win today in the World Cup semifinals? Fuck, there's a game today? I thought it was tomorrow. Is, who's playing today? Let's see. World Cup 2022. World Cup. World Cup. Any of you guys have, like, such huge fingers that you can't type on your, uh, on your phone screen? Today at 7 o'clock, Argentina and Croatia. Holy shit, I thought that I didn't I didn't think that that was today. Oh, that's going to be exciting as hell. And tomorrow France are playing against uh tomorrow it's France um uh Morocco and then um the third place game is on Saturday and then the finals on Sunday, right? Finals on Sunday. Holy crap. I can't believe it's almost done. Man, I really want Argentina to win tonight. I think Argentina beating Croatia would be great. I actually would like to see Argentina win the whole thing. Um, but uh, I think France have got a pretty good chance at uh, at doing the, uh, the, the, the... What do Americans say? The, the repeat and then the three-peat? Paris, France. Croatia has a guy in a mask they can't lose. I know, right? He looks like he, he looks like a uh, Hannibal Lecter. He's got a Hannibal Lecter mask on. Very upsetting. All right. Well, spring is almost over. Spring. Uh, somebody killed a horse down here at the fishing. Uh, there's a corpse You're of a horse. Right, it belongs to the family of Reynolds. <laughs> There's been a murder. <laughs> Somebody murdered my horse. Wait, there's another one. There's another corpse of a horse here. I don't know if they're just dying of old age or if somebody actually murdered one of my royal horses. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Let's go, England. Yeah, no, no, no. They're done. They are done. Hey, Rainbow Panda Chris, thanks so much for the 888. So happy finally caught you live. I'm only here for like 20 more minutes. I got to go pretty soon. 
Well, we have a we we've got some time though. We have time. We got to sort out some of these households, right? This one seems pretty good now. Um, a little bit better at least. The inn, looking great. Honestly, the inn is good. Look, there's people just idling, sitting at the bench and stuff. These guys are in desperate need of a home makeover. Uh, we need to. We really need to build them like a kitchen, and then move the dining room. Because they're, they're really just jammed in, right? These, these guys are looking a little bit better. This one's not too bad, right? Let's just do like a little cob upgrade for them. Try to move away from the old... Um, the old whatchamacallit. Let's get the plated roof in as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll be a nice spring into summer job for them. That's the best time to do these kind of renovations. Is it going to be cold as heck in the UK when I go on my holiday? I think it is going to be, yeah. I'm not uh, overly excited at the prospect of it being freezing cold, but what can you do, eh? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Oh, next week the temperature's going up? Okay, that's good to hear, actually. I don't mind it being like 5 degrees or whatever, but if it's below zero, man, that's going to really stink. That is going to stink so hard. It's going to be a hard stink, you know? You can put on a jumper. I know, I've got a jumper on. I could put on a jumper. Uh, I could probably uh, also stop wearing shorts, which is not helping much, but there you go. I think um, these guys can buy beer and stuff from caravans for now. Until we can uh, source it locally. Get a family of brewers in. We probably need to have a family dedicated to just running the inn as well, right? Uh, because it being split, the, the Banes might be struggling to do all the farming and the other stuff too. We'll just see how it goes. We have minus 11 degrees Celsius here now. My shorts stay on. Man, God bless you. God bless you and your dedication to uh, to to year-round short wearing. I love that. I love that. I think that's great. I think that's just the best. So I need to um, I need to acquire some resources if we're actually going to build uh, the manor. But I need a carpenter. I can't really do anything without a carpenter, right? Just gonna have to slum it for a couple of more years until we get a, a family of carpenters in. Some big carpentry dynasty would be nice, right? And a blacksmith too would be really good, yeah. Holy shit. And then we can do some mining, get some ores and stuff. And a Fletcher. Yeah, Jessica a Jessica Fletcher. A Fletcher of the Jessica variety would be really good. Solve some murder mysteries in our town. Get a jail eventually. Get a really nice jail. Oh, yeah. That's kind of nice about these games, right? You can just, like, you can just zoom around and take a look at what needs to be done. Do some planning, you know? Make a little, couple little adjustments here and there. Just make like one or two minor adjusts. The uh, the 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 fishing family have not um, invested in the things that they need to make their house better, right? They lack some critical resources, it seems. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay, good. They're making a start. Pear Pear went out and bought all the stuff that they, they needed. They're, they're working on the roof first, it looks like. This horse is not sleeping, no. This horse is very dead. It's a corpse of horse. It belongs to the family of Reynolds. Which is uh, the lord, lord of the land here. The lord of the land, Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds. 
How can you recruit, uh, this is, uh, this is Everburn Bane, who's just chilling. Just this Gerberg Bane. It's all the Banes just, uh, chilling in here right now. I don't see any new families. A lot of people come here at the end of the day, though. It's like the Queen Bic. They come here to live out some, like, they have some petty squabbles and dramas, and they... This is how they live their life. The, the center of their social life revolves around this inn. The cock and balls. The cock and balls inn. <laughs> oh, keep the horse nearby in case a friendly necromancer gives you a freebie. That's a good point, actually. That is, that, now that is a good point. It's tax payment day. Already? We should get some grain, I think. We should get some grain today. Possibly some blueberries. Our payment to the king is due very soon. Alright. We got some grain, but not enough. So we might have to purchase uh, some grains to top up. We can purchase grain from Bane. And then we'll have to purchase blueberries as well, it looks like. Open the warehouse book. Purchase from the Banes. Let's purchase... Uh, what grain do we need? We need like, I'd say like 30 grain, right? It's going to cost us 1 silver, 20 copper. Okay, and then uh, we're going to need uh, some blueberries as well. Anybody selling blueberries? The Bertuis? No. The Calmets? No. The Corsels? No. They're selling rabbit corpses. That's about all they've got. Nobody has any blueberries. It's going to be tough to find some blueberries. I think they start to grow this uh, season though, right? Summer? Or maybe it's autumn that they grow? I don't know. Are blueberries a summer fruit? I feel like they are a summer fruit, right? We should see some hot blueberry action developing. We might have to buy from the caravan. Maybe the caravan's got some blueberries? Purchase... Caravan, no, manuscript silk, clay, sword helmet, and beer barrels. They're selling what they need. <coughs> They're looking to purchase one dog female. I think we could maybe have like a dog breeding program in Reynoldsvania. Need four more beds in the inn? How come? Why do we need four more? We got six. We got six beds in there. Oh, for the for the horses. The horses need beds as well. I don't know if that's strictly true. Oh, kennels are crucial for hunting? Of course, yeah. We need dogs to help hunt, right? Need to do some good hunting. God, the inn is bustling. There's so many people here. <clears throat> now, it's a small town, so it's just a small inn. Look at how far these guys have to to trudge back to their uh, to their their houses after a fun night at the inn. I don't know where I'm going to get the blueberries. Are there any growing? I don't think blueberries are a summer fruit, you know. I think they're an autumn fruit. How many days left until we have to pay? 16 days? This is only the second day of summer. So it's at the, is it at the end of autumn every year or the start of autumn every year that we have to do the tax payment? I'm not sure. Oh, the caravan takes up most of my beds? No space for families? Well, we don't want families staying at the inn. Oh, you mean to attract families to stay at the inn. We need four more beds? <laughs> oh god 
we do need a carpenter, yeah. I know, I know, chat. Carpenter, we would love to have a carpenter join us. But I can't just conjure a, a carpenter out of thin air, you know? You gotta wait for the right time. The right time to strike. There's some lavender growing in here. There's no blueberries, though. I don't see any blueberries. Uh, there is a new caravan here. I can always check them. Hopefully, uh, they haven't bought everything from them yet. Where's Jesus when you need him? Well, he's, um... He's probably the, he's on he's probably just on the phone. Talking on the phone with the Pope, maybe in Rome. It's pretty dark in here, I know, yeah, it is. He's planning his birthday party, yeah. He's planning his big <laughs> He's planning his big birthday bash. got his big birthday bash coming up he has got to plan it out perfectly oh. 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 okay let me see if I can speak to the not accounting reports warehouse book purchase from the caravans oh they're not currently selling wait is it Sunday no it's stewardry payday today it's uh wait When is market opening hours? Why aren't they open? These guys are open. The caravan is not, though. All right. Bertui? No. Calmet? No. Corsell? No. They are selling one bow, though. And some animal corpses. All right. I think the caravan left. I think that's the problem. Or... They're too busy hanging out at the inn. Okay, we have enough beds at the inn now. Yeah, I sold my light bulb so that I could afford my WoW subscription. Um, but the, the good news is that uh, I've managed to make enough gold now to finance my WoW subscription. So I've gone to the uh, I've gone to the bookies and I've asked for all my light bulbs back. I, I, I managed to get on my feet a little bit. It's Terry's fault. I need to actually feed him. I need to feed him before we go to this uh, thing for my kid's school. What time is it right now? I'm going to have to go in about five minutes. Putting five bulbs on the horses? Horse bulbs. Horse bulbs. Maybe I should start making my manor maybe i should start building my uh my nice manor right with uh, some of the the stuff that i have i need a carpenter though we can't start until we have a carpenter we we need to make it nice it's got to have the best stuff in it right i'm not living in a in uh in in a hut i want to live in a in a gigantic ornate manor I want to have, like, uh, the finest lacquered-up mahogany the world has ever seen. An above-ground sex dungeon. Why does a sex dungeon always have to be below the ground? Why can't you have one above ground? Why can't you have one in the sky? Ever wondered? Maybe put a plop, proper floor in the inn. I don't have a carpenter. I don't have a carpenter. We don't. We can't do flooring until we have one. Even a crude wood floor needs a carpenter. An oak wood floor. Look, all of this stuff. Ar an architect or a carpenter. You can't do it. See, all of them. Oh, anyone can build a wood bridge. We can build a wood bridge inside the inside the inn. <laughs> we can build a wooden bridge floor inside the inn if you want. This game looks like Jersey. Oh come on, don't say that. that's not nice. 
Counting reports. Uh, Bane. Oh my god. Two beer, two beer barrels. Nine beer pints. They made eight blueberry pies. Well, that's where all the blueberries have gone. The inn is, is making blueberry pie. That's not good. Oh, look, okay. It is blueberry season. That's maybe why they made the blueberry pies. Okay. We should have... Okay, we can buy the blueberries we need. There's 98 blueberries up here. We just gotta wait for them to open, uh, open for the day. Open the warehouse book. Purchase from my peasants. The Bratouis. Yeah, blueberry pie is really sweet, isn't it? Um, okay, let's just buy 80 blueberries for 5 silver, 60 copper. Okay, that's all of our, our tax stuff done. Our tax stuff is all covered. So when the king says, send me my stuff, we've got everything we need. And then whatever we have left over is what we're going to use to start building our manor. Once we get a carpenter. And hopefully we can attract a family. Some family's going to hear about this inn. And they're going to come stay at the inn. And they're going to love this place. And they're going to want to settle here. And I'm going to say, are you carpenter? And they're going to say, no. I'm going to say, we don't want you here. But then eventually I'll ask one of them, are you carpenter? And they'll say, well, yes, I am a very skilled carpenter. And, I'll, and then I will open my arms. I'll open up my arms and I'll say, come here. Come on. This has got to be a family here, right? No, this is a caravan. This is a visitor. Herman Peters, family business. We have a visitor. We got a visitor. We got the Peters family is here. Okay, how do we recruit this family then if they're visiting? Will they uh, will they just like apply to live here or something? You have to embrace them. The Peters. Open the villagers. Nobles, clergy, domain. Where do you see visitors? How do you do it? Is the ruler the mayonnaise mayor? No, I want to see family tree personality intelligence reports. Imprison, send to clergy, make a servant. Bella Floss Peters is an adult who is visiting and currently wandering around. Hey, look, 43 points for a family of five, family of five farmers. The Rames family. The Corbier family are blacksmiths. And the Horabona, Horabona Philp, the Philps are a family of brewers. Oh, a new family would like to settle in your village. The family of Peters. Family profession, fishing. The family head is Bella Floss. Currently married to Herman. Fitting for the inn, the tavern, a fishing pool, and a household. Do I accept them? No. We're looking for carpenters. They're upset about this, but I don't need more fishing people, okay? I have a family of fishermen. I have a proud family of fisher folk. I could have used them for the inn, sure. I could have actually used them for the inn, you're right. But then where would they don't have a household? I'd have to set them up with a new house. I'd have to tack it onto the side of the inn and stuff. It's no good, chat. That's no good. 
I'm overriding. Okay, Reynolds Vania, we're done for today. I gotta go. Chat, listen, um, I hope you had fun watching. Uh, this game's really good. It's fun. We'll play some more tomorrow. Um, I will be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll play some more of this. I should be on longer tomorrow, too. I don't think I have anything uh, that I have to do tomorrow. I think I gotta go get do some shopping in the morning, though, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Hey, listen. <clears throat> have a good evening, and um, don't forget to watch Cro uh, Croatia Argentina tonight. Semi final World Cup. Whew. Should be uh, should be a good one. Um, if uh, Lionel Messi plays for uh, Argentina, and he said this is his last World Cup, so there's a lot at stake. Could be exciting, you know. And also, I think uh, most of Croatia's team, this is probably their last World Cup as well. Because that the generation of the current Croatian team is coming to an end. They got a lot of oldies on their team. Yeah? Hell yeah. Messy tears will be shed. Man, I, I feel like uh I feel like Argentina have a chance, but man, Croatia are just kinda like definitely an obstacle, right? Like you can't uh you can't discount them. You know? Need a World Cup stream like you did for the U.S. election. Windows open everywhere. Yes. It's too late now. It's almost over. Um, okay, listen. Um, have a good one. And thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support as usual. Thanks for the subs, resubs, and donations. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow, and we'll do some more gaming uh, then. Yes? Okay. See you tomorrow, chat. LOL. Lots of love. Peace. Bye now. Bye.